said C pondering why like how he's gonna sign Chesco in the background I mean you're not wrong this is me by the way hi you can barely see me I know but hi Oh, dude. I thought you were wearing a ski mask. Yeah, never let your homies figure out what's going on. Never let it happen. Hey, what's up? We're picking a save today. We're deciding who we are playing as. And we are, uh, we're going to play one season and it's going to be great. Now, I, I know, wait, if you, I know you guys have seen the, the, we made this person yesterday. I don't know if you were part of that process. We made this person yesterday and they're awesome. Zerx, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers. Moisey, thank you for the two months. Just Jib, thank you for the six months. Bert, thanks for the three. Propane Burrito with the 10 months. 12 Oboe with the 21 months. Sarah Skywolf with the 14. Zibara, thank you for the five months. Simmers, thanks for the 21 months. Looks like Nugget, thank you for the four. Twisted, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it. Happy two years. Pick Happy a fun team. Years. Rylik, thank Pick you. Jake Wellen, team. thanks to the eight months, too. Velvet Mamba with the prime. Talon with the prime. Rebound scores with the 10 months. You guys, uh, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. All right, get it out now. I'm going to let everybody get it out in the chat. Who? All right, everybody, everybody get it out in the chat. Who am I managing? Take your guess. If you get it right, if you get it right, I will gift you sub if you don't have one if not i'll give somebody else a sub okay if you get it right and i'll be totally honest somebody said it somebody actually said it so that that's a thing that happened it has been said i don't know if they knew what they were doing Somebody apparently hacked my computer, so that's cool. Bayer Leverkusen, Everton, Lama, Legia, Warsaw. A lot of Arsenal's coming out. It's like you don't even know who I am. Napoli, Morocco. We're managing... <laughs> We're really? Okay. Uh, Everton, Wrexham, uh, Villa, West Brom, Newcastle. <laughs> Seoul, Canada at the World Cup. If I was getting the, if I was managing in the World Cup, why would I be anywhere else in the U.S.? You know what I mean? That also wouldn't last the whole, you know, three weeks of us hanging out. Schalke, no cash. You've all got your own conspiracy theories. Not conspiracy theories. You all have your own working theories as to what our save is going to be. United States of America. There you go, Southampton. Aberdeen. We actually did Aberdeen a few years ago as our beta save. For those that don't know how beta saves work, uh, you don't want to start a save that you play for the rest of the game in this situation because their glitches could carry over. But you do want to start a save that will be a really fun season or two. 
JC, thank you for the two months. Jonas, thank you for the eight. Ice, some um, numbers, thank you for the 15. Foxy, thank you for the nine. All right. A lot of very interesting theories. A lot of very interesting theories. I have only seen one per one. There is one person that said it. There is actually one person that said the, 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 that said the team. And from what I can tell, literally only one person. So it's not West Rob. Yeah, you guys are starting to do a little like, oh, he said it multiple times. And so it can't be West Rom. Can't be Lester. Okay. <clears throat> Just say it already. Yeah, that's not how this works. All right. Your first clue for the save unveiling. This is a team that is playing in A. Not which one, but in A Champions League. They're playing in A Champions League. Somewhere in the world. That's clue number one. Now take a look at this beautiful individual. They're playing in A Champions League. So that we've got something fun to do for a season or two. We are competing at the highest level in this continent. A Champions League. A1. Gotta be the new Saints. Just get out. If you're gonna say that, what are you doing here, Chad? I'm seeing, I'm seeing, uh, we, we are, we're having some fabulous guesses. Orlando FC in South Africa. Ooh. Sporting, uh, Victoria Pilsen. Pina Roll. Okay, we're covering all of our Champions League bases right here. Well, are we managing? Well, we are managing in a Champions League. I'll give you another clue. We are managing in a league that I have never managed in before on stream. Or really for any purpose. I've never managed in this league before. I did in a personal save in FM 17. I did manage in this league, but that doesn't help because I was a 45 year journeyman. So you don't really know where I ended up. We're in a champions league and we are managing in a league that I have never managed in on stream before. Let me rephrase that. We can bring it back. We're managing in a country that I have never managed in on stream before. We're managing in a country. This fine individual is managing in a country that I have never managed in before. In a Champions League. Turnbull, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Chip Thompson, I appreciate it. Ebon, thanks for the nine months. Congrats on your Twitch child. Same to you, Myers Racing. And Foxy, thanks for the nine months. Like, you know, the majority of this save is going to be us playing with this team. So you got a lot to look forward to. So he's going to let the game choose. No, I picked an exact team. Two people have said it. I have eagle eyes on the chat. Two people have said it. Two people have actually said the team that I'm managing. Only two. 
Obviously, I won't let you know if that changes right away because it makes things too obvious. But as the moment I said that, only two people had said the team that I was managing. Gamer Dad, thank you for the nine months. You're milking this too much? Absolutely impossible. It took me an hour to unveil the door for save. So. <laughs> it actually took me an hour. I hope you manage young boys as I also love to play with young boys. Hint number three. After we, we gave serious consideration to not doing this. But in terms of what piqued my interest the most, we're in Europe. Thought about MLS. I'd want to do a longer save there. And I almost went to South Korea. But the rules felt too restrictive for one transfer window. We're in the European Champions League. And we're in a country I've never streamed in before. Oh, 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 and, 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 and. You have definitely seen this team play before. I don't know if that counts for anything, but you've definitely seen this team play before. I promise you. I promise you you've seen this team play before. We're starting to make more progress. Four people have said it. And the reason you've seen this team play before is because they're in the top seven leagues. I know we're going in Unzealand direction here. Because they're in the top seven leagues in Europe. In the Champions League, in the top seven leagues in Europe, in a league that I have not managed in. On save or on stream, whatever, whatever this is, what is this? So let me, let me start setting the game up. You know, we go to career mode here. We go to career mode here. Okay, yeah, we, we open up career mode and here we are, we're in career mode. And we go to Europe. Top seven leagues, right? That's Portugal, Netherlands, Spain, Germany, Italy, France, England. All right, top seven leagues. So it's not Bruges, although respect. It's not Olympiacos. I will say this, more people are starting to say it now to the point that I have lost track of the team and uh, like of how many people are saying the team. More people are saying it now, chat. Because we're in Europe, you know this. For our beta save. And we're not just in the top seven league chat. We're in a top five league. Now I want you to think really hard about what top five league in Europe have I not streamed in? What top five league in Europe have I not streamed in? Let's see, England, we played as Wolves last year. Let's see. Uh, 
Germany. We played as Dortmund two years ago. France. We played as Lille last year. There's only two leagues left, chat. Champions League teams from those two leagues. Who are we looking at? Who are we looking at? Well, I'll tell you what country it's in. Okay. You ready? I'm going to tell you what country it's in. It's fine. It's, uh, it's... Yeah, we're going to um, Spain. We're going to Spain. We're going to Spain. But I've never managed in Spain on stream before. Which when somebody pointed it out to me, that was a real surprise. So then I'm me and I start get I get to thinking, okay, what would be a fun save to play for a year or two? Right? What would be a fun save to play for a year or two? And the more I think about it, I'm like, well. We don't like playing as huge clubs. So we're not we're not gonna play as Real Madrid. In Barcelona, I know they're struggling with finances, but we're not going to play with them either. Because it's Barcelona. We don't want to just, you know, walk into that situation. And then when you look at the top three clubs in Spain and you realize each one of them has won the league since 2004. No other team outside of those top three has won the league since 2004. Twitch Prime, Twitch All right. Prime, Prime. And there's one team that is always really good. And might just need a little push to get them over the top. They're always great. Some call them the kings of the Europa League. We will be playing as Sevilla in the beta save. Good evening. Wow. And we will be unsettling the third triumvirate of Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. And we will be challenging for a Champions League title. Now, I want to give huge credit to Vin Role. Rosalie, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. V-N-R-O-L-E. I do not know who you are, but apparently you are living inside of my head. Because I had never even said that out loud. I had never even said that out loud. In the first guess, I'm literally not kidding. I'll find it. The first guess of what team I would be playing as when the whole world was available. On this year's game. May the Unbelievably. Bless US. Was Valencia. No, oh, well, I mean, Sevilla. <laughs> it was always Sevilla. I don't know why I just said Valencia. Where, how, how do I find this? Where did I start the guessing? Literally. I'm, I'm gonna look through the VOD right now. The first guess, it was outrageous. It was ridiculous. It was rigged. I have no idea 
how Vin Role did this. Just check past messages. That's that's true. But I want you to see it in the order in the chat. But I'm trying to figure out where I asked for everybody to. Oh, it was right now, apparently. Right there. Are you kidding me? How did you do that? It's the first one. I just asked. That's why I was freaking out. I'm like, oh, and then say who you think the save's gonna be with. First one, goaded. Absolutely ridiculous. No, I know I have to gift a sub to Vinrole. I, I actually don't even know how to do that. That was terrifying. Yo, wait, hold on. Okay, we're just gonna gift a random sub then. Gift him one to the community. Who's getting it? Rod A456, there you go. Your consciousness is in the chat. I was unsettled. I was wholly unsettled by that. There's no way that the first guest in the chat was the actual save we were doing. But yeah, no, I, want, I was thinking more abstract, but then I realized I'd never actually streamed being in Spain. I don't know why I'd like, I, I'd ignored being in Spain. Um, so we're just gonna go with full Spanish league system. Uh, we'll load in a few more leagues. I don't think we need to go crazy here. Like boom, bada bang, bada boom, bada bingity boom, baby. do that we're only playing as uh we're only playing as one team so you didn't load italy oops oh god we're gonna double check here real quick anybody else that we missed Sorry, Italy. Turkey makes sense, too. Yeah, we're good. This is going to be a spiffy database chat. We're going to be sailing. It's probably uh, playable. The, yeah. Playable that. Should load that up. Playable, view only below. There we go. We want to make the top seven leagues playable. View only works totally fine on the rest of it. This main's obviously all playable. Who am I missing? Just casually leaving Italy off the database. What am I doing? Disable player attribute masking. No, don't disable that. Uh, Prefer control teams with head coach in place. No. Uh, early preseason, large database, 50,000 players. Good set of leagues. All right, rock and roll, baby. Here we go. We're going in. Sevilla. All right, what do I need to know about Sevilla, chat? What do I need to know? Your, your computer's a monster. It is a monster. Uh, Mexico, same language, good youth. Yeah, but we're not signing and developing youth, are we? Philly, thanks for the prime. Grow, thank you for the prime. Cheese, thanks for the prime. Let's go. Oh, wait, three. Yeah, I, I know they. I thought it was two. 
But apparently it's three non-EU players. I know South American players only take two years to become naturalized in Spain, but... We're gonna do better than that. Case Joker. Thank you for the prime. We don't have the time for that. Gadget, thanks for the gifted subs. Swag, thank you for the prime. Ryan, thank you for the five months as part of the hammers. Sherlock, I appreciate it. Blood Wake, thank you for the 17 months. Do, do, do. You need to rebuild the midfield. This is the stuff that I want to know. Might be offered David De Gea. Ooh, I might not take that. I might not take that. You need to rebuild the center backs. Okay, good. We need to rebuild the midfield and the center backs. Is this your long-term save? Never make your long-term save in the beta. This is going to be a lot of fun for a year or two. Lots of aging players are pretty bad this season, but since the appointment of Sampaoli, they've lost yet. They haven't lost yet in four or five games played. Okay, fair. Fair play. Need to rebuild the attack. Okay, cool. So we need to rebuild the attack. We need to rebuild the midfield, and we need to rebuild the defense. Now we will be using Zeeland Vanderhorst for obvious reasons. Use profile. Yes. I would like to I would I would like to use Zeeland Vanderhorst, please. I'm just gonna go bad suggestion. Not something I've ever really emotionally invested myself in there. Hey, thanks to the two. And we gotta rebuild our goalkeepers. Okay, we're gonna rebuild our goalkeepers as well. Great pleasure to welcome you to Sevilla ahead of discussions regarding the club's vision and objectives. You're prepared to welcome pack to help you settle in. Won one trophy in 1946. Thanks, Brain. Transfer budget of $5 million. Well, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. Loan obligations on loan from United. Alex Tellez. Casper. We've loaned in Casper Dahlberg. What in the world? Casper Dahlberg's on loan. Nianzu Fernando. Thomas Delaney's on the team. Okay. Eric Lamella's here. Yusuf and Nesri. I do like Ne- Oh, I- Tecatito Corona's on the freaking team. Oi! Play attacking, sign Spanish players, sign young players to develop for profit. That's annoying. Work within the payroll budget. Also annoying. Qualify for the Champions League. Finish above Real Spalis. Be competitive with the Madrid clubs. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the press conference. Uh, we'll do fortnightly staff meetings, please. Good evening, the save. Okay, tactics induction. Oh, uh, yes, please. I would love to take the full tutorial. Thank you. Uh, can I negotiate the current vision? Probably not. They're probably just going to be like, yeah, you need to sign young players to develop for profit. Can I get rid of the signed Spanish players? What's the point of having this negotiation screen, honestly? It's so, it's so not nuanced. It just, you just go back and forth and then it's over. And if you've been at the club for a while and they love you, then it's like, ah. See, I don't know what I want to do with my tactic yet, so I'll just leave this. I want to look at my team. I'm going to skip the squad induction. I appreciate it. Okay, contract. Who's cool? Who's the important player? Yasin Bunu. Okay, so we've got a decent goalkeeper. Yasin Bunu is good. All right, we start there. Get sacked, speed run. Look at Sunderland's players with a lot of potential. That feels bold. Stay using your training setup from FM22. Uh, we won't be using it in the beta, no. Hey, Boone is good. Alejandro Gomez. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. He's going to get worse throughout the year, but right now he's still good. Oh, can you freaking show me the pros and cons on the first screen? All right, the other... Well, there's a lot of regular starters on this team, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Rafa Mir, I know you. You're a striker. Okay. Who's got the value? That's what I need to know. Lucas Ocampos on loan at Ajax. Why have we done that? 
He's an important player in his prime years who might be able to help us accomplish something. Why have we sent Lucas Ocampos away? Discuss new contract with agent. Enter into contract negotiations. That's cool. That is cool. We have Tangi and uh, uh, Nianzu. What's my retention? 100%. Ooh. Zoom level. True. 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 100. Yeah. 100%. 100% right there. 100%. You have to adjust the zoom level, my brother in Christ. Thank you. Not super valuable individuals. Yusuf and Nezri I probably want to keep unless they've made him worse. And he, they have made him a little worse. Yusuf and Naziri is... I love him in real life. Suso. That's a player right there. Okay, so Suso's definitely starting. He's one of the few guys that's not on regular starter on this freaking team. How's Tecatito? Annoyingly specific. Exactly how he is in real life, honestly. I, I wouldn't be opposed to selling him, though. Oliver's got interest from Roma. Fall oh, for 14 and a half million. Really glad we could sort that out. Mr. Wide Playmaker that tries killer balls often. We've definitely got talent on the wings. We have Rafa Mir and Yusuf and Naziri. So we do have two strikers that I don't hate, even though in this is a little like, hmm, you know. Looking forward to the FM20. Well, soft in the journal. touch department. Doesn't Suso? They all have release clauses because we're in Spain. They say Suso's got a low release clause. Well, Tottenham is interested in his release clause. 50 million. I mean, if they want to pay 50 million for him. I'll take that money and I'll go invest it in somewhere else. All right, first transfer target. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro, he didn't make the database big enough. Restart. Oh, no, no, I need uh, I need a database where I can sign the guys that I'm like I want to sign. Okay, I have a, we have strategy here. Actually, we have Gonzalo Montiel. Why would I? Byron's better than he is. Okay, fair. Back to the start screen. We haven't done anything. Good evening. The save the right one. Okay, give me back there. Give me back. I need the ability to. I I, I messed it up. That's my bad. I messed it up. My bad. We need to add Mexico. And for good measure, the US as well. And then we need to take you and make you playable and then view. View only below, got it, okay. Everybody good. Byron Castillo plays in Mexico now, not Colombia, so we can't, mm, yeah, whatever. It's It's cool, it's cool. Byron Castillo plays in Mexico now. You did tell me to add Mexico. That was my fault. Lazy, thank you for the 15 months. Topher, thanks for the two. Exclamation point save. Folly, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Ovo Ball, Ovo Ball's like, yo, I hope we're still friends. You didn't notice my seven month celebration. I did now. I'm very sorry. Yeah, somebody actually totally, totally told me to add Mexico. And I totally didn't. And I just want to apologize to that one person who now has a massive high horse to sit on because Byron Castillo has moved clubs. He is now in Mexico. This is actually the same player that was uh, part of the controversy and why Ecuador couldn't go to the World... Or, like, might not have been able to go to the World Cup, right? It's the same guy. I know you can only have uh, somebody said it was three non EUs. I thought it was two, so I agree with you. 
Need to restart the game again. You missed the Peruvian leg. I do think I will live. There should just be a current ability threshold where like... I know they can't do that because then you can just go through all these other leagues and be like, oh goodness, there's somebody with like the current ability that's this high. Well, I don't know. Byron Castillo literally plays for the Ecuadorian national team. I don't know why. Uh... I mean, I guess they didn't do the national. I didn't load the national team stuff. But... Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, no, we're aware. I'm assuming it's all the same stuff and it'll be a real nasty surprise if it isn't. Good evening, the save part two. Your face looks like a zombie. Wow. Feelings, man. Feelings. Now I know you're talking about the guy in the game and he's pretty hot, isn't he? It's a steamy character. Oh, I need the fan. Speaking of being steamy, it is hot in this room. Okay. Should be able to wing, uh, swing this for under five. I don't know exactly. We're very keen. Oh, dude. What an utter and complete waste of time that was. Iron Midget, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Oh, dude. Because he just signed for Leon. He's like, no, nah, I'm okay. Don't show message again. Thanks. The last time I ever see that. Okay. Squad planner. I am thinking that we go with a 4-3-3. Oh, wait, hold on. We need, um, there's only one person that can properly explain this. It's not me. But there is somebody that can explain this. Just needs a second. <clears throat> okay, so the oh, that's a lip. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, so the, the we're gonna go with like a like a four three three because we got great wings. I I don't think our midfield is great defensively. Maybe we want to do like a four four two, maybe a four triple two, something like that. But. I'm just not sure, and it feels like I'm, yeah, you know, like that. That's what I was thinking of. But we have two strikers that we like, and oh, they're just so cute. But that doesn't really matter. I don't think we have a defensive midfielder, so we're gonna start with this, right? But then we need like double pivot. I don't think we have anybody that can do this at all, uh, which is a problem. But I feel like 85 regular starters. So look at, oh my god. We have Ivan Rakitic. Totally forgot about that. Which means we need three. We need a 4-3-3. Three, three. Poor favor. Great new tactic. We're going to go with... Uh, we can go with control... I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to change the whole thing anyways. All right, but... Um, okay, 4-3-3. Three, three. We want a deep-lying playmaker on defend. We've got aggressive midfielders. We've got... Rakitic is going to slot into that deeper spot, which would be great. Uh, and Iansu's probably going to end up playing center back. We'll see. Jean Jordan, part of the contingent that goes further forward, although we are kind of solid there. Uh, Delaney, oh, perfect. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We actually, I, I just need to get a little further down the list. Center back is not a strength of ours. It's not. So, I agree. Whoever said, whoever said, that we needed to rebuild the center back position is is right. We have Alex Telles, who's going to be able to play left back all season. He's loaned in from Manchester United. He's having a great time. Adnan Yanezaj. Uh, Yanezaj is part of our huge contingent of talented wingers. Marcos Acuna. Why did we loan in Telles? We already have the guy. Eric Lamella. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, do we need that right back. Boy, oh boy. Did we use Byron Castillo right now?
I don't like you either. You're old, Fernando. You don't really... How are you on regular starter? Not even East goes on regular starter. Now we can... Let's see. Deep lying playmaker on Isco. Wow, that would be that's savage. But it looks like maybe what we need to do. Gonzalo Montiel. Oh, that's our right back. Yeah, sorry, Jesus Navas just isn't. So can we lower you immediately? Massive eye roll there. Yeah, Isco's physicals have tanked. Yes. But he still has the technical ability to be a dilp. We love a good dilp. So, yeah, I think that's that might be what we're doing. Are you going to make a skin this year? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be exfoliating. It's going to be fantastic. Just lower it. No, we are going to lower him. I was wrong. We actually have very good defensive midfielders. So the team would be Bunu. As a goalkeeper, not a sweeper keeper. Thank you for playing. Uh, high div oh, right. I got to deal with all that stuff this year. Not Jesus Navas. Gonzalo Montiel, who I actually love. I used to sign this guy from Argentina. I think he played for my Lille team last year. Alex Telles is playing wingback in the left. Montiel is less of a wingback. He's more of a fullback on support. You know, he's, he's, he's just here for vibes. I'm thinking Thomas Delaney. But as a, uh, as a ball winner... We can get really defensive. I like that about this team. And then you go here and you're a deep lying playmaker. And then Isco doing his thing, takes up that spot, receives the ball, picks out the pass. And these four guys are like the triumvirate of attacks. Um, we have Alex Telles going absolutely nuts going forward. That's going to help, right? I don't want Eric Lamella as the, as the guy. Where's Rafa Mir? Rafa Mir becomes our advanced forward he's not necessarily a great fluid guy but uh solid advanced forward can get up the field we have suso and suso is going to play on the rights looking to cut in so hello suso you're gonna inside forward how's your finishing 13 you are definitely going to inside forward suso and gonzalo montiel is going to cover behind you got it Good. We have no center backs. The de this defense is suspect. This defense is suspect. What about Rakitic? I don't want him in that spot. Delaney's really good. Don't worry, we'll find a home for him on this team. So Yenishai, obviously all these guys expect pretty regular playing time. Oliver. Don't hate him either. He can sit out wide on this left side and pop the ball in. And then there's Eric Lamella, who is just somebody that doesn't even use his right. He doesn't even think about using his right foot. He's never even... He's got 19 work rate, though. Tecatito Codrona. He's going to end up fitting the team more than he knows. He's going inside, too. Yeah, that left side of the field's going nuts. Uh, Tecatito's going there. You go. You Yeah, okay. There we go. Now, Isco can slip the ball into Suso. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Alejandro Gomez, the guy that I like. Now, Alejandro Gomez is going to become the center mid and attack. Rakitic is the super sub that can play literally all three positions in the midfield and will get a ton of time over the course of the season. Hmm. We just have a bunch of... I, I, it's giving mid right now. Our entire defense is giving mid. The fact that the team is old isn't necessarily a problem because we're playing one, maybe two seasons, right? But this team is just oozing mid right now oozing mid so let me let me set a bench the way i would normally set a bench so i can get a full grasp of how we can like visualize this team 
All right, Kareem Rekic is going to go on the left side of the defense. Uh, I actually don't hate him as a ball playing defender. Uh, take a few more risks on the ball there, son. And we've got, you know, let's get rid of the unavailables. Which nobody's injured, right? Except for Casper Dahlberg. He's out for three weeks to two months, so... We do have another striker, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Yusuf and Naziri is our substitute forward. Lamella is the substitute wing. Adnan Yanezha is the substitute wing. Uh, Ivan Rakitic in the midfield. And then we either go with Joan Jordan. We go with Oliver. He's, of course, like everybody else in the dang team. I, I don't want to put him on the transfer list for $14.5 million. I'll be honest. If that's who you think we're going to get, that's not what I want. Uzama Adrisi. I would love to have Uzama Adrisi right now. Can I recall these guys? We've loaned out some good players. Ocampos is good. He's very good. All right. We should be able to cancel that loan. Bring him back. Ludwig Augustinsson is also good, but the loan in of Telus kind of merits his move. Play Fernando as a center back. Ooh. Jawan Jordan normally makes an excellent box-to-box -box player, and Ianzu's the best you got right now, probably, for center back. And that's obviously the hole we're leaving right now. Uh, no, I think it's Markal. I think Ianzu becomes the... Even though isn't Ianzu... No, he's just regular starter like everybody else. I think it's Markal and Rakic. I like any of them are great, but Markal seems a little better rounded out. So we have Nianzu goes there. Goodell. Do a little bit of everything and uh, not good. Oh, how much are we paying this guy? Are you kidding me? Nemanja Goodell? Okay. Might be difficult to find him a club due to his high salary demands. Obviously. Dude, that guy's devouring our wage. He's getting paid five million plus a year five million plus a year ridiculous all right fullback subs we either go with Jesus Navas or Acuna depending on who we think is going to need a move and then Shawan Jordan's very clearly better than Fernando I actually totally get why they're trying to sell Oliver now so let's just go ahead and offer him out and uh, let's see what offers we're able to get. Also, I'm going to liquidate the youth team. Liquidate Sevilla B. Who's there? Oh, you're not very good. Why do they think that you're good? You are just slow. You are just slow, Kike, but you are not bad. You're just slow. Let's say on El Carmona would... Get 15 to 20 million in the open market. He's got... I don't see it. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I don't see it, Chad. I don't see it. Is this beta? Yeah, this is... Uh, the game came out yesterday in a beta version. And that we... I can't wait for you guys to see the match engine. I know I, I made a little bit of a video about it. But I didn't really focus on the match engine. And it is uh, so chaotic and interesting. Iker Villar. See, I'm going to go sell this other guy. Carmona, don't need him. Um, prefer to stay at Sevilla. I get it. I also just want to see what offer we could get for Jose Angel Carmona and Kike Salas. You come up to the first team. We have a Sevilla C. How does this even work? But if you are that ability level, I don't need you to be down there. You're either going to be in the first team or you're not. Okay. So signings that we would want. Uh, things that we need to improve our depth at. I would love... First choice is a center back. We need to get a great center back. Uh, what is Benoit Batty Ashile doing? He's at Monaco now. Uh, still at Monaco. 40 to 64 million, though, so he is not cheap anymore. What about Maxence Lacroix? I realize that that would be a little expensive, but it's not as bad as the other one. Max Sense is a sweeper. Okay, scouting. 
I'm going to dive into this. I've never taken a tutorial in my life and I'm not starting now. And Dick is not a bad shot. Kawata is always fun. But we need to set this up anyways. So Spanish first division. Uh, oh, okay. My brain just did that thing where you look at something that you don't understand and your brain just shuts down and you're like, well, I don't really want to do this. But I need to figure this out. Okay, so transfer window 51 days left. Scouting range is our world. Scouting budget is there. Okay, so we have recruitment focuses for the Spanish First Division. We have seven matches. And what we're looking for, transfer and loan. Golden bacon okay, we need to assign a scout and assign an analyst. Go. That's cool. Any position from tactic. Yeah. Okay, this is yeah, get rid of this. This is nonsense. Get out of here. Am I am I in charge of this? I better be, because I'm already making changes to it. Scouting, um, assigning scouts, take control. Thank you. Handling scouting meetings, Zeeland Vanderhorst, of course. Providing scout feedback. Yeah, that's all. Okay. When you scout a player, don't add him to your shortlist. When you scout a player, watch him for a week. Yes. Okay. Good. Advice and reports. Oh, uh, we sh Wow. Okay. Our general manager is sick with it. Advice category, development. I would prefer head of youth development, Pablo Blanco. Thank you. Provides player reports. Head of youth development, Pablo Blanco. Youth development information, head of youth development. Provides loan feedback. Keep it on the loan manager. Analyst report every month. Staff meeting bi-weekly. Thank you. Okay. We also don't want to discuss... What do we not want to discuss, Chad? <laughs> like staff stuff. Scouting range will have something to say about what areas you can send your scouts this year. I think we're good in the whole world. Big confirm. How can you even tell? It's behind my head. Showing contextual advice, that's fine. Medical team improvements. Coaching staff courses, no. There you go. You're right, I didn't click confirm. God. Sorry, it's my it's it's my first time. Alright, edit. Spanish second division. Transfer alone. Anybody that fits the position or tactic. You can't really see it, so hold on. It, I finally. Finally. Look at it, attributes when I assign scouts. Oh, that is, oh. <sighs> wow. What a moment, what a moment. You know, what a, what a moment to be alive. We are looking at attributes while we assign scouts. And that is, uh, that's life changing. That is life changing stuff. Okay. Um, Jose Manuel Santos. No, we'll go with Francisco. He's not doing anything anyways. Uh, we're in the what? Second division. This is second division. We're looking for players transfer alone, any position or tactic. Um, Okay, we're just we'll test how effective this is. Honestly, when we're looking in Spain in general, I think we're done with with we're scouting the Spanish first division and the Spanish second division. Now, how do I add a new one? How do I add a new one? Now, who are you, Marcos Andrade? Oh, well, you are decent. Marge Ramazani, Tony, Alejandro Catena. You don't really look like somebody that can carry me all the way to a Champions League. Do you, Victor Olmo? Dang it. 
Okay, recruitment focuses. There we go. All right, so where do I want to go? I want recruitment focus name. No, what do I? Oh, I have to pick the position. So any position from tactic, cool. Uh, we're looking for guys that are, uh, actually no. We're looking for center backs. We're looking for right and left center backs. We are in desperate need. Right and left center backs. Uh, priority, this is a top priority situation. Top priority, assign any scouts. Now we are taking Emilio de Dios, who is our best scout. Where is he going? <laughs> Choose an area. Got it. Okay. Uh, region. Continent. Europe. Um, yeah. Use all of your knowledge. Give me continent, Europe. Uh, we're testing new things here. We are testing new things. I need uh, somebody from here. Juan Antonio Guzman. Go. There we go. Okay. Create recruitment focus. We also would love to have a star striker. I'm literally just going to say the world. Can't say that? Okay, we'll just say any. I guess that's the, the answer there. So we're going to go with Augustine Lopez, who has 13 adaptability. That works. Totally messed that up. Oops. We're looking for a striker. Augustine Lopez. Anywhere in the world. We have to move quickly, so hopefully he's got good knowledge of, of spots and he's going to be able to throw me something. Um, Taichi Wakabayashi is going to be the assigned analyst, and we are looking for a striker that has the ability to lead us forward. I like Rafa Mir, but if we could sell Rafa Mir or in Nesri, keep Casper Dahlberg as deep cover. <whistles> Find ourselves another striker who's going to make a difference. That's normal priority. And then those are the two positions I'm super invested in, but I also will take a wing. I okay, choose an area, region, um, Europe. Continent, Europe. Don't really have time to build up those longer connections, so really hoping you guys just hit it off right away. Uh, how about Jorge Polito? Galeante. Okay. Jorge Polito, you're going. And then Antonio Fernandez, you're going along with him. We're looking for wings. Defense is the most important. We are also looking for those two. We can set the attribute stuff, too. Hey, Sam and Dave, I hope you had a good stream. We read the information about priority and how many scouts get selected. I think that's here. You say, oh, wait, what the? That's a glitch. I go into this one and it says there's nothing there. So maybe we got to go to overview and then try it from there. Oop. Nope. So two scouts get selected. That's what it said. And then you want me to like get me Jose Miguel Santos. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 That is neat. Got it. Um, Ramon Vasquez, you're going still. How are you doing? I was dumb because I'm looking for a center back. So I messed that up. While I was paying attention to the other stuff. Okay, there we go. Europe. Yes, top. You didn't feel like saving those two guys. You know, you didn't feel like saving it. That would have been nice. There we go. So now I did it right. Now I did it right. You check your text on your phone, Sebastian. Thank you so much for the three months. Yes, mom bot. What's up? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Bombot. Is the beta version easier? No, it's just got some bugs in it and you don't know where they are. They released the beta version to help find those final bugs. Top priority picks four scouts and the more assignments a particular scout is given, the slower he works. It 
It says two scouts will be assigned to top priority for why? Like, why is top priority not working? So it says it right here. It says two scouts will be assigned to top priority focuses for quicker results, right? Like it says that I can see it. Chill, thank you for the tier one. Bulky Bob Sap, thanks so much for the tier two for 14 months. And Flinders, thanks for the prime. And Mike, thanks for the prime. Jasper, thank you for the year. Crypt, thanks for the 10. Cinex with the 20. So Steven good. with the prime. I'm using the same scout analyst. Okay, well, who's... Polito and Fernandez. Wakabayashi and Augustine Lopez, so... That's annoying. It should tell you that. Also should not make that... It's not, the, it's not this mistake. Those two guys are doing that. But it's me... No, Vasquez. It's Fernandez and Wakabayashi that are there. I'm not using the same person anywhere. Well, this is a little, uh, a little fun. It, I, now it's trying to select four scouts. It's telling me I need to select two. And then it just automatically selects four. I keep overlooking like one part of this because I'm having to do it so many times. And it's top priority, yes. Augustine Lopez and Taichi Wakabayashi. That's fine. Jorge Polito and Antonio Fernandez. Perfectly fine. Fernando Navarro and Raymond Vasquez. That's the issue. Raymond's here. I'm going to put Gallego there. Well, then now Gallego's just doing multiple things. That's not like it shouldn't break the top priority stuff, Chad. Minimum two. Cool. Well, I'm putting the minimum. Why is it still not working then if I'm putting the minimum? And it just goes out and sucks. <laughs> okay, if I, okay, the idea of a minimum, right, is that if I put the minimum, I should theoretically... be able to do that because it is the minimum, right? All right, I don't want those two guys. I just want these two guys. Maybe I'll throw in uh, Fermin Galeote, right? I'll throw in Fermin Galeote and Jorge Polito. Now you've got your four. Now you're, now you're like, yeah, this is absolutely what we're doing. Okay, good. We leave that. We're looking for center backs. What are you doing? Now, tactically, what do we want to do with the guys that we have right now? Okay, so. I'm going to build a high press, mid block. Why? Oh, I can't, I can't double stretch. Or wait, you can't go past high? High, mid, low. Oh my goodness. Okay, so high press, standard defensive line. Um... Damn, feet get stuck in. Step up more. Milo, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the five months. I actually didn't know that. So I can move my line to much higher, but the press is not as variable. That's weird. Print short goalkeeper distribution. We can't do that effectively here, but we will step up more. Uh, we are... Try and force them inside, yeah. This is usually how it works, right? You gotta try out your tactical sets from previous games and then see what 
see what works and see what doesn't. That's a really nice balance tactic for us to be able to start feeling out how this is going to play in this game. So let's make sure that our preseason is good. We've got Denog. We've got a training camp. Fun. Multiple friendly matches. How about that? We'll do some training camp matches. PSV and... I guess we're doing our training camp in the Netherlands. Den Bosch. Sure. Awesome. Do that. And then we've got first division match against Mallorca coming up over there. Got it. 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 We feel good, chat. Yes. I'm about to. I'm about to just obliterate my senior citizens. We're not pressing super aggressively, okay? Handles friendly matches. I'd like to delegate that to Jorge De Sa uh, Desio. Take a look at our coaching team. We only have five of nine coaches. That nah, just feels like a waste, doesn't it? We can definitely do better than Jorge Desio. Pablo Blanco is a very good head of youth development, though. Goalkeeping coach. So Luis Silva, our fitness coaches. You are so bad. De Alba, Diogo, Machini. Wow. Okay. Fitness coaches are a problem. We have a technical attacking coach and a nothing. So we're going to need, we're not going to set our youth team staff, but we need to set our first team staff. This is embarrassing. You guys are so bad that I actually can't even fathom keeping you on this team. Herman Gerland. See, like, why would we not go get Herman Gerland? We, can we can afford him? Yeah, we absolutely we can. Assistant coach. Why do I care? Didn't I just... What? Didn't I just, like, accept the offer that he gave me? Isn't that a thing Can't that happened? Mella to score a Rabona and get a red card all within 10 minutes. Nice. Moritz Valls. Is that not how one, you, you wanted more to be an assistant, I think? I, I'm a little blindsided by this. He was such, he was, he was the obvious signing. He was fantastic and I totally thought I had it no problem at all. Yeah, this guy's good. Speak Spanish. Oh, okay, so you want more to be an assistant, but last guy wanted like an unbelievable. Okay, that. Okay, good. I, I'm. I was disoriented there for a second. I'm like, are negotiations really that different in this game? He wanted more to be an assistant, but he wanted like five times as much. That guy wanted a hundred thousand more. That is totally reasonable. I was just completely thrown off by that. And then he just puts his foot down, and he's like, you know what? Screw you. And you're like, what I do? Whoa. Whoa, 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 You're a free agent. Nobody's even interested in this guy. Yes. Immediately, yes. Paco de Miguel. I don't know. The discipline's really disconcerting. Oliver Bartlett, fitness coach, compensation of 170000 Yes. Oliver, do you want to come be our fitness coach as well? Thank you. We have four coaching spots available. five coaching spots available, really. Um... Determination, discipline, motivating. Right. We need attacking, tactical. Anybody with 15s and everything? No? How about, uh, are we going to go with a four or five match? Three or five match is dangerous. Yeah, there's three people there. Three or five match, though, is dangerous. Um, let's go down to 14 and go with a four or five. There we go. All right, Tony Ruiz attacking is actually bad he's better he's more of a de tactical defending coach but we can work with that um 
we still do need that. So you want to just be a coach, boss? Over here acting like that's a problem for me. Dude, we've got the cash, Tony. We have the cash if you want to come here from Ibar. We have the cash. Oh, I'm still searching fitness coach. No, shit, shut off. Remind me what game I play for a living. Because it's clearly not football manager. I, I, clearly not. Okay, I don't know what we're doing. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> Who played that? Yeah, we're switching to Minesweeper. I oh, had enough. We're switching. We're switching to Minesweeper. Uh, all 15s. 15s, four out of five. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and Yaki Iguar. Yeah, okay, and Yaki's already down there. This makes a lot more sense. We're looking for coaches because, of course, we're looking for coaches. That's why we're here. Stan Robertson. Stan the man Robertson. Absolute beast. Stan the man Robertson. Get in. That's two. All right, Stan can literally do both defensive trainings. So if we can find somebody else who can do something else, then we'll take it. In Tange Marichal, he's Spanish as well. I mean, why would you not go do this and build just an absolutely elite staff around your team? So Bintange uh, Marichal does everything well. Jake Daly is also somebody we want to get on our team. The Englishman Jake Daly. Yaki Aguardo is going to be able to fill one of these spots too. Marco Bazzotto? No. Minesweeper sub room. Uh, get rid of the attacking and turn on. Ooh, Miguel Quaresma. He's got that mental technical coaching on fleek. I hated it even more than you did, I promise. Helena Costa. Uh, what if I wanted you to be a coach? Oh, no, no, no. We don't have to pay anything to Miguel Quaresma. We'll sign him up. Boom. Done with my staff. Easy. It's that easy. Oh, what do I? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Helena. Wrong phone number. Oh, yeah. I don't have any... I like that it's okay. Okay, good thing I'm noticing right here, chat. Good thing I'm noticing, chat. Good thing I'm noticing, right? Uh, I'm five dollars short of buying FM23 with Zealand's code. Oh no! You know, if you invest in Bitcoin, oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, please, please. It's that easy. Seventy-five percent of the dudes sign a new contract. Now, be fair, most of them are free agents. Yonbuk in South Korea. That seems excessive. Um, okay, so I like the fact that it says locked right there. I feel like they've listened to my soul there. But what I'm going to do is... Okay, we need to check his preferred asking price. He'd be happy with $15 million, So he would be happy if I offered him out for $15 million. And if we can get $15 million in the bank just for that guy, that'd be awesome. No offense, but offense, uh, you know, offense intended. Rakitic should be a better vice captain than Fernando. Well, that's insulting. Let me check the hierarchy here. Yo, with the team cohesion up in here, what are we doing? He's a natural born leader. It's really not that big of a difference. I gotta be honest. Gonzalo Montiel, long throw training. He does have 13. Chick, chicks dig the long throw. 
You know, that's what I heard. Play at Wellington Felix. Uh, Wellington Felix property Zealand. What's the command to buy FM23? Just go to zealand.gg slash FM23. It'll be there for you. Exclamation point FM23 also brings it up. Rakitic, my Croatian man. Do you have multiple Croatian men? We should send these guys on language courses. I agree. Okay, we are moving. We are moving. Uh, this is maybe the weirdest looking. Freaking thing I've ever seen. Okay, we need to do a team bonding and a community outreach every week because we're really bad at it. We need to make sure we get our match reviews in there. Okay, match preview before we play the Sevilla second team. And then I'm going to do a physical recovery. I'm going to do a match review. And I'm going to do a team bonding. And then we're going to do an overall, overall. And then an attacking patient. Uh, and then we are going to do a... Mm -hmm, match preparation teamwork. Defending engaged match preview. And then after the match, we're going to do a recovery match review and goalkeeping one-on-one -on -one training. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, we also need to do more actual physical training. So we're going to go with endurance quickness. We're going to go with endurance quickness and then endurance resistance. Then you do your thing. Okay, cool. Uh, attacking patience. Nope. This is why I don't play FPSs very often. Not exactly a world-class clicker of buttons, chat. I wouldn't call myself world-class in that. I'm going to go get some water. I totally forgot to get that before the stream. <gasps> the freaking simulation already ended. Simulation. A space bar. Half week. We make it a little stricter, but we don't have to go too much. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Water. chat i hope you're able to keep yourselves entertained make sure you drink water as well you know sitting here not drinking water can suck it for your health you got to stay hydrated while you game degenerately you know you got to stay hydrated nothing for carmona well that's just insulting 12 million we have 100% retention, so... Oh, that's nasty. They want me to pay half of his wage, but they'll give me a couple million dollars. I'll tell you what. Don't show me this message again and let me just reject things. Offer out. Unspecified. Selling team salary contribution. Nil. Introduce yourself to the squad. Hi. On behalf of the team, I'd like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your leadership. Thank you. Youth and transfers. So this is interesting. I'm going to make improvements to the defense. Make improvements to strike for us. Don't want to make any promises right now. Is expecting more from you in terms of promises. Well, Isco. What the f*** do you want me to do, dude? I am trying my hardest. 
very positive about our chance of saying we can win the title. I think we can challenge for the title. I'm very positive. I think we can qualify for the Champions League. There we go. Got a good feel for this. Trying to reach the Champions League final. Probably reach the business end of the Champions League to put on a good showing. They want business end? They probably want business end. Nope, they don't. A little too ambitious. Uh, Isco, I got a problem with you, brother. I think if everybody gives 100%, we can achieve what I said. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wants to win the Spanish Cup. Latter stages of the Spanish Cup. There we go. Now we're feeling good. Okay, here's the code of conduct. Great response. Thank you. Oops. Goodell one's frustrated not being able to pursue the move to Fulham. L look, boss. They were not... Okay, cool. We got rid of Goodell. Uh, accept and give ultimatum to selected clubs. Now, we'll be rejecting offers from those selected clubs and hope that we can get an even higher offer for Nemanja Goodell. Thank you so much. Selling team salary contribution, gone. Goodell? Uh, discuss. Hi. Evaluation was wrong, and we will see how we do with this negotiation. Oh, no. Okay, 6.75 million is the amount he's okay with. Problem is, I already offered him out for 7.5, so we're going to lower that, and hopefully they take that change into account. That'd be perfect. Nemanja Gade that's exactly what I was asking for. Thank you so much. Vanderhorst to meet the media. Awesome. I stalled Sampdoria. No, I, I rejected Sampdoria. Oliver with the $12.25 million offer. Um, what do we think? Isco going from offended to please in 0 .05, uh, 0 0.058. Yes, it's perfect. Is the name, the name is, uh, yeah, Vanderhorst. Of course. Fake American, thanks for the year. Appreciate it. Thomas Isidro, thanks for the 20. Tomlinson, thanks for the 12. Isu with the 13. Van Gunderson with the 7. Anti and Simba with the primes. Caster with the 5 months. Big Merm coming in with the prime. Thank you. What team? Uh, we are playing as Young Book Motors in South Korea. Papa, thank you for the prime. 30 minimum or keep? I agree that 12 is too low. I absolutely agree that 12 is too low. What is his asking price? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. He'd be happy with 20. He'd be happy with... Okay, we can go up to 29 offering him out. That's fine. You want to confirm your changes? Thank goodness that thing moves. No. I almost screwed myself on accident there. Uh, I would like... 28 million for Oliver. Olivera. Hi, how does it feel to be the new Sevilla head coach? I'm honored and excited. What attracted you to Sevilla? It's a huge club that would appeal to anyone. I, I, I fully believe that, Jorge. Hablo Espanol. Uh, was there anything that was gave you reason to think this job might have been the right one for you? Um, lot, they, dude, the paella. The sun. I wanted to explore the opportunity. Just 26 years of age. It's a valid point to bring up. It's unusual for a head coach to be younger than some of the players, but that's all right. We do this. Playing career, your playing career is a huge success at this sort of level, but coaching is a new challenge. I believe I will be good enough. What do you think of the Sevilla squad? Looks fantastic. It will eventually be changes. So that's the way it works. Everyone's excited to get to work. Sevilla fans are important to your long-term plans. What kind of quiet? Like, what is my answer going to be like? Nah, bro, fans. I hate all the fans. They can catch me outside. How about that? I miss that girl. She was fun. Z is in press conferences. Yes, we want to win things. We want to be successful. How hard do you expect to work the players in the training ground? We're meticulous. How valuable is a young and dynamic star like Tangi Nianzu? He knows what I want from him, does he? I don't think I've ever talked to him. Will you be keeping Jesus Navas as captain? Uh, until he gives me a reason to think ever otherwise, yeah. What position do you feel the squad could do with strengthening it? Center back. I don't usually answer that question, but there you go. I'm not discussing Oliver today. What would you say your style as relates to people management? I think, uh, yeah, I work best the players feel valued. You know, I'll keep your Tamagotchi alive if you keep my Tamagotchi alive. Will your priority be well, uh, be doing well in the first division? It's a given. We want to do well in the league. Yeah, it's obviously a given. 
Uh, first, uh, first 11 against the second 11. Something like that. Responsibilities, uh, leads the friendly matches. You're right, I didn't confirm that one either. I think I have a disease where I just don't confirm things. Because I don't really, I, I'm, I'm not a friendly watcher, you know? I, I just, we'll, we'll quick pick the teams out there. I think, can't really tell because the badges, I think we just beat our second 11, nine to nothing. Rafa Mir scored four goals, so life is good. Oh. Anybody want to catch him right now? And we're finally, we, we, we've gotten the save off the ground. We're off and running, you know? I mean, I don't actually think this guy's that good, so I'll take any amount of money for him. Get a few cat jams in the chat. And we're gonna saddle up for this one. Hold on. Gifted uh, subs. Uh. <laughs> ah! No, thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for the prime service. Thank you for the five months. Papa, thanks for the nine. Huge, huge love and excitement Woo! to Pierce. Pierce making a hundred, hundred people's days 100 people's days they have access to the subsection of the discord they have access to everything they can be in save your saves they don't even get ads on twitch anymore they don't even get ads on twitch a hundred people outrageous preposterous 101 plus you true true thank you so much fierce fierce a legend of the hammers thank you for the, the 100 gifted i think stream elements has decided it is going to go through 
every single one of those gifted subs. So we're going to mute it for a minute. And uh, we'll message stream elements later to figure out why that's happening. Literally stopped my ads while they were running. Clutched it. All right. So apparently we have 34 players that they think would improve the squad. So, um... I recommend scouting the Super League. And I was like, Real Madrid intensifies. No, it's the Swiss Super League. Scouting recommendations. Uh, 41 players in the list. Conrad Limer is a little expensive, but he also plays probably the one position that I am not. He plays the one position that I am uh, not in need of right now. Alejandro Catena. So you know you're all part. You're you're all part of the same thing. Leon Bailey. Well, he would be too expensive. I mean, maybe alone. They would require fees, but they would actually give up Leon Bailey. I'm not that interested. I'm not that interested. Oliver Bartlett even took the deal. One of the few guys that already had a job has taken the deal and has joined the uh, joined the team. The Mario Montero. We don't need any more coaching staff members. Well, clearly you haven't met our fitness coaches. Borja de Alba. We have to pay 851000 to terminate his contract? Are you kidding me? And Jake Daly for Diogo Machini, because both of our fitness coaches are going away. That's another 425,000. Whatever, we're a financially viable club. Vivo! Hey, give me the gift and sub. Welcome to the Blackham. And Fierce Pierce! That's 101 gifted subs for Fierce Pierce right there. And gamer for fun to you. Thank you for the prime. That was a journey. Clutch moment, very. Uh, cleared the alerts. All right, thank you, I.L. Remind, can you remind me to message stream elements later, please? See if we can figure out what's going on with that. A Zealand investigation is underway. Jake Daly completes the Sevilla move. You're darn right he does. You are darn right. Now, who just got hurt for two months? Beautiful. Eric Lamella, two months with a hip injury. Just how I dreamed it. Well, that is not shivering my timbers. Okay, so let, let, let's do a test. Let's do a test, okay? I failed the test. Yes! And the sort column still doesn't work. So, you know, one step forward, one step back here. Or like a half step forward. One and a, sorry, one and a half steps forward and then a whole step back. So we still can't sort by who's registered and not. Um, which, you know, has never made sense to me because that's just such an easy way to visualize it. But whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. At least we can select and register. Jose on hell, Carmona. Manchester United is interested in Jose. Really? Jose on hell, Carmona. They've got Manchester United lurking around for 9 million. You come on in here then. You come on barging through that door. Right? So help me. Yeah, we're not going to bring too many guys, but we'll bring a few. Valentino Fatore. Guys that maybe have a chance to be something. Sure, you're coming to the Netherlands. Have fun. Recruitment meeting. This should be good. Take your hat off when you're in a meeting. It's the respectful thing to do. Alvwell, thank you for the prime. Thanks for the 16 months, my dude. Miles, fix the things. I summon thee, Miles. Oh, okay. This is a new way to, to do this. Uh, to begin the meeting, you should set up your squad for this season's outline and your outline intentions. Okay. You 
You should set up your squad for this season and outline your intentions. Right, okay. I, I've done that. So now why am I just staring at my goalkeepers? Excited to see what other travel vids you have in the future. Is this just squad planner stuff? That's not even the tactic I'm using. That's one of the tactics. That's the other tactic. I'm, I think I'm training that one. Like each position. We just... Okay. You're forcing me to look at my squad planner? God, the audacity of some people, you know? Some people skip expiring contracts. Um, Nemanja Goodell. We're already getting rid of Sean Jordan. His contract is expiring. Maybe we like Sean Jordan. Maybe we don't. Maybe we want to sell Sean Jordan in this transfer window. Let's discuss it with the agent. What can I do for you? We're interested. Delighted to hear who you're renewing his contract. We want one of the most noteworthy players of the club, right? This is going to be a problem. We're going to have to sell Juan Jordan. Okay, now we now we know that. That's good. We'd be happy with that asking price. It'd be on the high side. Okay, so we're looking at like 25. At least in the initial offer out. So we'll offer him out. Skip player status. Here's a recap. All the players looking to transfer or loan out. Those attracting interest we've highlighted. Okay, attracting interest. Listed players, transfer activity, staff suggestions, add him to the loan list, apply. Cool, that was functional. Um, we should look for players in the following areas. Goalkeeper, striker standard created by head coach. Did I created all of these? I didn't create these two. Anyways, as a weird recruitment meeting, it doesn't really recommend players anymore. Uh, Jordan. Listen here, Juwan. You are not somebody. Let's see if I can find an option that actually agrees with what I'm trying to say here. We have too many options to your position. You're not part of my plans here, so I think it's best if you move on. Not taking the decision lightly. I say this with a heavy heart, but we need to cash in on your value. Contract's expiring, and I want to move you so we ensure we get a fee for you. I appreciate it if you left my contract situation by me. I don't consider it to be a problem right now. dumb answer he's like okay hold on hold your horses I'd appreciate it if you left your contract to me I can't do that Juwan it runs out at the end of the year this is a concern for all of us and you want to be an important player in that new contract I can't freaking do that the sheer audacity of this man insist he's furious and I do believe he's going to want to leave now he doesn't. We didn't get an offer either, which stinks. So 0 for 2 on old Jawan Jordan, but we will get him off this team. Shut up, Joan! Why did you build an ark? Why don't you just build an ark and leave, Joan? We've all heard the stories, Joan. We get it. That's so bad. But effective. We're sending the right message. That's what matters. We're sending the right F minus. Now that's that's harsh. We all know that wasn't an F minus. Very interested in speaking to other clubs. Boom, I'm a magician. I don't know how I do it, you know? I don't know how I've done it. We need to train the tactic that we are... We need to change the tactic that we're training, and we need to come up with a third tactic, right? Third tactic, create new tactic. I would like to do a... 
correct counterattacking tactic, I would like to make it not a 5-2-3, but more of like a 4-3-3 with the inverted midfield. Ooh, Zealand, speak those words to me. Okay, yeah, I'm right. That's what I'm thinking. I am thinking something like a 4-3-3 inverted midfield is our last tactic, like a little boom, boom, boom. The Flying Pyramid! Why, why is this so out of sorts right now? Some like that, I think, would be tremendously effective for us. Um, we do have Yusuf in Naziri, who can target forward it up a little bit. I just want to have a third tactic so that we're familiar with, like, a new style of playing, you know? Uh, inverted winger. Now, what in the world glitch have I unlocked here? This is going to be a center mid on attack. Let's see, on this side, we want a Regista. Not no-nonsense. I'm never team no-no. I'm never team no-nonsense. Alex Telles is complete wing-backing all over the place. We are not ever sweeper-keeping. Please stop doing that. I don't want to go more direct, but I do want to play with an incredibly high tempo once we get the ball and pass into space and then low-cross it. Uh, we're absolutely looking for the counter. We regroup when we lose the ball, and we do distribute quickly. Well, we distribute specifically to the fullbacks so we can pass up to the wings to make something happen. And we are going to go with a... I, I hate going below standard back line, but I'll tell you what. Standard back line, a mid block, which just looks very weird. Uh, uh, get stuck in, absolutely. Close down there, drop off more, uh, and we are going to look to invite crosses, right? I'd like to trap the ball outside. Trap the ball to the... Now, we don't have the freaking legs for that, usually. Uh, balanced. So that's our third tactic. But we are going to be training our second tactic. I think that's the one that we're going to be doing the most. Um, we will be saving this tactic as La Pyramid. And this is basic. And then this is, hmm. And that's lads, it's Tottenham. Okay, so those are our three tactics. We have Lads at Tottenham. We have the basic lady dogs. And we have La Pyramid. <sighs> this is really just like, you know, uh, us going nuts out here. Yeah, it's attacking. To the wall, force the ball up the field, higher line, step up more, make your plays, passing into space. Yeah, lads, it's Tottenham. Okay, so I like every tactic that we've got now. We're training our three tactics. We're into the season. Neither of these injuries are bad. Cool, well, good. Everybody's unhappy with the treatment of show. Why are you trying to force him out of the club? Doesn't seem fair. Uh, I urge everyone to look at the bigger picture. Understandable position of strength the squad when he leaves. I think most of the players are my back. I appreciate how I, how I thought of around here, but there could be no room for sentiment. The time has come to move him along. I don't think he's good enough to be a part of the team. Nobody will like that. Um, so who is this? This is Lamella, Kike Salas, uh, Montiel, and Oliver. So this is not a very threatening group of players. Uh, that's just not true. Can I just lie to them? I've never tried that because this is not true. Satisfying financial fair play, but like, would they know that? It was a great atmosphere in the locker room. Uh, it's time to move him along. Don't think there's any room for sentimentality. Then why should any of us trust you? Ooh, you know, you make a valid point there. Um, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. You know what? Most of you, literally only Gonzalo Montiel is who I care about there, so... Well, that's not good. 
We didn't find any players? Come on. I thought I just plug this in and then all of a sudden we find, you know, it would be great. And I realize that this whole thing is broken anyways, and I cannot set how many scouts are supposed to pick up looking for a defender. And that's just fun. But it would be fantastic if um, we had any control over this at all. I'm just going to leave it on any. You know what? I'm just going to leave it on any. I'm not setting specific scouts. What I'm trying to say, though, is it would be great if they could tell you what your scouts were already doing on that screen. Now that, I don't know, they're finally showing us, you know, attributes and stuff. That would be really cool if they could, like, I don't know, do something with that. It'd be, it'd be neato. Neato. Okay. And you guys look so ready. For our friendlies. Yay. Love the Netherlands. Carmona wants to discuss personal matters. Why did you not let him move to Senate? When? Like a week ago? There's somebody else rejecting stuff. I'm in control of all transfer activities. Weird vibes, man. Weird vibes. Carmona, what's up? Finances weren't right on the deal. I want 23 and a half million for you and I'm probably not gonna get it. I'll be honest, Carmona. Are you signing center backs? That's the goal. We have a priority search on him. Are on uh, them right now. Why? I, oh, right. I don't have the Zealand skin, so I can't see his freaking attributes. I have to click on him. Oh, Byron, aren't you just super talented for a guy that plays in the Mexican League? Would be a quality signing. We have extensive knowledge of him. I appreciate that. Uh, possesses great speed, has a full understanding of Spanish. <gasps> yes! Oh, no, I didn't have the right sound effect on. There we go. Professional streamer. <laughs> Gasp! Oh, my God. <clears throat> Gasp. Finally, I can let my real voice out. Oh. It took forever. We got a little of LAZ. Oh, it's... You know, it's not really LAZ as much as pure, true Zealand. You know, it's like, it's just unfiltered, right? I finally take all of the filters off of my voice and the mic. And so you can hear what I really sound like. Now, people that have met me in real life, maybe they went to Amsterdam, maybe they went to the e uh, GCX in London, or but what, what is it? It's, um, I, I don't even remember what the thing was, a European Gaming Expo, EG, right? Something like that. If you met me there, you know this is, this is what I sound like. So, don't talk to me, okay? Like, you know, I, uh, you just, <laughs> unbelievable. I can't believe you would do this. All right, I turned the filters back on, Chep. I turned the filters back on. Scouting update. Oh, exciting, Fran. You gotta come see this, Fran. Mohammed Simicon. I actually do like Mohammed Simicon. He can do a lot. He's a little little pricey for our five million dollar transfer budget but we are working on expanding that transfer budget and when we do muhammad we will be there so i'm going to immediately axe all this massive pile of two-star players that for some reason we've accumulated that aren't any good so if i could just okay thank you now we've got like a list of guys that we can look at so largine ramazani the lack of attributes here, honestly, the thing in the Zealand skin that saves my life is the attributes being there and why they're not, it, I don't know. I don't understand it. I feel like it's so much more overwhelming if you don't have the attributes, you know what I mean? So you're going under the maybe. We have extensive knowledge. 
Wait, why where are my short lists? Where are my short list options? Next report has them. He matches a recent focus and may be of interest. Report bug. Zed, loved your YouTube video where you interviewed some of the real life Dorfers. I believe goated would be an appropriate word to describe in the language of today's generation. We did. You guys are really loving that uh, that video. FN Club invited me to Only training. Yeah. Uh... I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Obviously, it was an absolute freaking pleasure to uh, to do, and I, I I did thoroughly enjoy it. Right, and the, the thumbnail. It's one of my favorite thumbnails you might have ever done. I'm distracted, right? I'm reporting a bug. <sighs> match AI tactics, match engine, no, transfers contracts, league specific issues, dynamics, interactions, meetings, all other issues. Um, okay, all other issues. Hey, is there like a guide of how I'm supposed to do this? I haven't done this before. All other issues, that's where we're going. All other issues. And then I just make a post. Can I sign in? No, I don't have a sign in. What a loser! Doesn't even have an account on the forums. All right, I'm gonna have to sign up, I guess. I will sign up. I do love the fact, uh, it's weird. Okay, um, display name, Zealand. It's already in use by another member. All right, which one of you idiots? Who am I suing? <laughs> Which one of you fools has my name on the forums? Who is gaslighting people? Which one of you is it? It's me, Nick. It's Nick. Everybody get him! <laughs> Super Al, thank you for the three months. Dutch, thank you so much for the seven months. I appreciate that, Callum. Thank you for the five months. Yeah, it always blows my mind. I mean, the, the video's got 52,000 views in uh, seven hours. That stuff's always crazy to me. All right, so the old Zealand, is that available? That is available. I'm going to do not the fake Zealand. That, I feel like that's a good way of letting people know that it's me. So we're going to do not the fake Zealand. Um... Yeah, not the fake Zealand. Really simple way of letting people know that that's me. And, um, perfect. Make a password. I would not like to receive email updates. That email's already in use by another member. I do have an account! Oops, okay, so I have to, forgot my password. Very sorry. SI, super sorry. How often is that? That happens to me probably three times a day where I'm like, wait, I have an account for this already. All right. I wonder what my username is. If it's Big Daddy Ham, we are flipping this table. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. What's happening? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You think that password is strong. I 
came up with it just now because I'm going to trust Google Chrome to save it. I'm never going to look at it again. All right, I'm in. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I, I actually, I, I accused you guys unfoundedly. That's not a word. But I definitely did because look at my username. I'm the one that has Zealand. So sorry about that. That was not my intention. Get him! Yeah, I'm the one. I'm the one that got Zealand. That was that was my bad. So uh, I have a notification. Mentioned you in a topic. The officially unofficial wins the FM23 beta speculation thread. Oh, well, what did this person say about me? Zealand posts a video with the alpha. Yes, he did. Oh, dang it! I just did it again. Zealand. Okay, so now I go to all other issues, and I. 45 issues in this category. Add a new issue. Yes. Can I change my name to not the fake Zealand? I kind of liked that better anyways. Let's see if that option is there. Zealand profile. Edit profile. No, because then somebody will make an account with the name Zealand, and that would be stupid. There's something on this, right? Uh, freaking... No, okay. Creating new issue. Yo, what is up, my homies and G's? When you make a short list and then right click on a young homie, the short list that you be making does not be popping up in the hizzle. when you right click. So if we could like fix that, yo, that would be faux cheesy. Sincerely. Oh, we ran out of characters. <laughs> we almost, it almost fits. It, it, it almost fit, dude. Okay, then we're it's definitely we're gonna make that the post then. Um, yo, what is up, my homies and G's? When you make a short list and then right click on a young homie, the short list that you be making does not be popping up in the hizzle. When you right click, so if we could fix that, yo, that would be Foshizi. Sincerely, not the fake Zealand. Right. Okay. Custom shortlists not be popping up. Yo. Okay, so. <clears throat> Please subscribe to the issue and watch 2001. We nailed it. We're being a good global citizen. Drag the files here to attach the files. Okay, well, what if we just do a little, uh, hold on. I gotta do this and then tab out, right? And then we do, oh, you come here. I've done this before and you do this and then that. And now it's there. No custom short lists in the hizzle. And we just go there and we paste. Pasted a rich text. No, I didn't. Watch me whip. I'm being a global citizen. And if you look very politely at my, uh, my short lists. You can see that I do have custom short lists available. Okay, so we go after this one. And that's where the custom short list goes in. Dude, like I'm actually reporting the bug very effectively. I don't know what anybody's issue with this is. There's a shortcut, wind, a Windows key, Shift, and S for the screenshot tool. Yeah, but that worked too. You know.
Don't you need to click continue so that they load up? If you rob the world of this post going on the uh, SI forums, I am going to be mildly upset. Okay, but like before you click continue, you know, that's what this is for. <clears throat> Just a slight adjustment to our post uh, before you be hitting that continue button, comma, proper grammar, of course. The short list that you'd be making does not be popping up in the hizzle when you right click. So if we could fix that, yo. That would be Foshizi. Sincerely. Sincerely. I wish I did that on purpose. Okay, so we've got our nice post. Please upload relevant files. Um, I think we've uploaded our relevant files. Uh, does Elon read chat? That was smart. Please change the spelling of what? It's spelled like that for artistic purposes, mom. I promise I know how to spell the word what. Post should, post should be signed Big Daddy Ham. Mombot, I do appreciate it. Mombot's just looking out for my spelling. She has no issue with the rest of this. She's just concerned by my inability to spell what. Now, it was a typo. I just left it. Uh, while I was typing it for artistic purposes. Uh, so I will notify me of any replies. Absolutely notify me of any replies. Uh, I would like to be helpful. So I uh, just hope that that is uh, that, uh, you know, it's hard. It is hard saving people um, from some of the, the game's greatest challenges. But it is a price that I believe you know, that I am willing to pay so that other people don't have to have the same experience where they actually have to hit continue for their custom shortlists to pop up. Hard out be, be, it's hard out here being Big Daddy Ham. Birdman, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Since you're basically a superhero, do you have anything you want to tell me? If your cat is in a tree, there's at least a 51% chance that I can get it out of the tree without severely injuring myself. Zealand does try to help the community a lot. Dale, I'm so glad I paid you to say that. <laughs> I am so glad I remembered to pay you to say that. I almost forgot the I almost forgot to wire the money this month. Um that was that was huge. Fran's actually a very good signing. He's only 10 million. He's a very accomplished player. Enzo Bayomo, 20-year-old center back. I don't think he improves the team, but he definitely he definitely goes into the definitelys. No, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I I know the guy that like runs the forums at SI, and so I wouldn't want to be like spamming him with graphics or bad stuff. Paid actor, yeah. Did I ever tell you that when my streaming and YouTube career started to take off that I was pretty convinced that my mother was just buying like viewers to make me feel better. It I was never over 50%, but I was definitely suspicious about how quickly it was happening. And I was like, Hmm. You know, I know, I know she keeps telling me that eventually it's going to work out. Maybe she's just making it happen herself. He's on to us. There we go. Yeah. Wait, you guys are getting paid? No, I always thought that was, that was because it happens very quickly and it's a hard thing to explain because you really just, I'm still sitting in my room just playing FM, right? And then all of a sudden there's a real serious amount of people that are just also there, right? I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. 
And then just randomly you run into somebody in the street and they're like, oh my God, are you Zealand? And I'm like, I didn't think you were real. Real viewer, 100% monk ass. <laughs> Gil Rosas. Gil. Guayal. Hey, Chad, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. And this is an honest question. It has nothing to do with what I was just talking about. Go for it. Thank you for the tier one. I have options for what I can do for the World Cup. What do you want me to do? So here are the options, right? I'm considering hosting a daily World Cup watch along show in this room. We're going to put a couch over there, multiple mics. We'll have people over to watch the games. And I promise we'll have it like much cooler than watch alongs we've done in the past. Uh, and we would watch along each game every day, right? Literally just stream the whole day. Like just, yeah. Or we have the opportunity to go. But we wouldn't be able to actually stream the actual matches but you guys know that I always like invest the money so that we can make better stuff, right? So we bought one of those live streaming backpacks, right? And we get, we have the opportunity to go to Qatar and stream, like live stream the event while there, right? We have the opportunity to do that. And so but we wouldn't actually be able to stream the games. We would make videos of going to, you know, we wouldn't go to all the games, obviously, but. Whatever is preferred by Z. Oh, that's the question. That's the question because like, those are the two options that are out there right now. And don't worry, like, like chat, I'm not an idiot, right? Like either one that we're doing we're going to be doing a really serious charity drive the entire world cup for humans right like human rights organizations i'm not a heartless soulless idiot that is obviously something that we're going to do All right so but the question is what thing do we want to do All right and I feel like part of the going to Qatar in the first place, like if we went, right, it would be Adler and I, right? And we go and we bring the streaming backpack and we stream every day walking around the center of like the hub of it. It would be like almost reporting, like covering what the World Cup is like, right? Because it might be a disaster, you know? You should go do it if you get the chance. No, here's the thing. Is I want to do whatever you think is cooler. I want to do whatever you would enjoy more. Would you enjoy watching the games with me more? Or what should Zealand do? Okay, so there's a serious... Uh, make sure you vote in this, by the way. The timer's going slowly. Top of the chat. And vote with your heart. Don't just vote with the masses, right? Do you want to go to Qatar or host watch lines from New York City? And what I'm thinking is then we take the, the streaming backpack... Uh, we take the street. Yeah, yeah, vote with what you actually want. Don't let the, uh, you know, don't let those numbers fool you. Um, yeah, that's basically the sitch. Those are the options. I want you to get disappeared in Qatar. I'd be live streaming the whole time. They can't take me. Come to Amsterdam, watch the... No, so my, my other idea is like, if we stay here, I don't really like this Rosas guy and I keep staring at him. I don't know why. I want to add him to the maybes, but I don't, I don't really like him. Pedro Diaz. See, why do I look at that guy and vomit my mouth? What? 
Like our scouts are just giving everybody an A+. Plus. It's just, it, it, we are the Oprah Winfrey scouting department. You get an A+, plus, you get an A+, plus, you get an A+. Plus. So the idea would be, you know, for the U.S. games, there would be really cool watch-alongs in New York City, and we would, uh, maybe I'd talk to a bar, maybe we'd go to one of the open-air public watch-alongs, and we'd bring the live streaming equipment and live stream the watch-along. The only issue I have with that is obviously the audio from the game is very loud, so I don't know how we'd be able to do that without getting DMCA'd, like we're broadcasting the game or something. But I do think if we can figure out how to do that, it would be very, very, very fun. You know, Kuzayaro, thank you for the four months. Random John, thanks for the 24. Congrats on your diamond bacon. Cray, thanks for the seven. Gopher, thank you for the tier one. Maherdman, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the prime. Spicy, thank you, Hosa. Shotgun Mike. Now we would have the, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just don't know. Watch long for New York City for US England. Those are the options. I, did, I, I really wanted to ask because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I was really struggling to decide, right? And when I started out doing this, I was just playing video games and having a good time. And now all of a sudden there's just always these big decisions to make. And I like to think that we're able to at least be bold and make the right one most of the time. But yeah. See, but if we go to Qatar, then we have the opportunity. We can go to U.S. England, and it would be away days and I going to U.S. England. Because he's going to be there. It would be really, really cool. See, Fair Cakes, you say it's your chance to watch your team in the World Cup, but I never you're not supposed to, I know you're not supposed to assume the future, but the United States hosts the World Cup four years from now, so I will accidentally be attending the World Cup four years from now. I think we all know that. <laughs> right? The final is in New York. Yo, Ufka, thanks for the 500 bits, my homes. Wow. I realize I'm taking eight years looking at this screen, but we're having an important discussion. I hope it's okay. No. I have to hover because we don't know. Kelvin Yaboa is an athlete. Honestly, he doesn't want wage and doesn't it doesn't cost a lot. If we do actually end up with some money to spend, I don't see that being a terrible move. Oh, why did you have to be bad in acceleration and agility? That was unfortunate. Mirage Kambula. I actually have never heard of that guy. I have never heard of Mirage Kambula. Conrad Limer. Yeah, I've managed him before. Oh, he definitely goes maybes. So why do they really want me to do the Swiss Super League? There isn't a guarantee in life. I'm aware of that. Four years ago, this is a true story. This is crazy. Uh, I actually forgot about this until you just mentioned that because I'm talking about the next World Cup. Four years ago, last World Cup, there was a, some guy, I can't even remember who it was, some guy set up a football manager creators world cup 32 people just managing random teams right and i remember i was i wasn't invited and it was not like a huge deal right it was like kind of smaller people and i still wasn't invited and i was like oh Man, next time the World Cup comes around, I'm definitely going to be cool enough to get invited to that. So maybe I should run the tournament. The late blooming idea. Now all of a sudden I'm talking about every content idea I have with you guys in chat right now. Mohamed Simicon, you go to the definitely page. We definitely like to have it. Might be a little expensive. Igor. Igor actually was in my Brazil team. I remember correctly. He's super solid. At least keep an eye on him. Mahamadou Diambo. No. Trevor Chal. Oh, what about a loan? What about a loan for Trevor Chalaba? And I don't like it. We do need a loan list thing. 
We do need a different list for loans. Loans! Why did I just accidentally add Inso by Yomo to loans? What the... What the devil? I had him selected. Oops. Anyways, we go to scouting. We go to scouting center. We add Trevor Shaloba to loans. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, onward. Qatar require visitors to download tracking apps upon entering the country. That's just insane. Will you be watching the U.S. Grand Prix in Austin this weekend? Um, I'll keep track of it. If you guys want to keep me updated, sure. Dutch, thanks, <laughs> thanks for the gifted sub, Dutch. <laughs> Play more thanks to the seven months. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, allowing us to have these decisions to make so that we can do it up real cool. Same in Canada. They're making people download a tracker app. I really, really, really hate to break it to you, but if you have one delivery app that has your, like, freaking location all the time, you're already getting tracked. So, um, I've got a degree in media studies, and we took a class on, like, how the media is able to keep track of you, and, oh, so enlightening. We enter in the group stage of the Champions League? That's great. Wilmot, thanks for the two months. Yeah, man. Real voice reveal? Yeah, Dream dropped his face. I'm dropping my voice. What's up? Oh, right. Sorry. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Oh, such a weight off my shoulders. Oh, Nemanja Goodell. I'm so happy for you. Nemanja, where are you going? Brighton. Oh. Oh, that beach is not... Okay. The, the beach is lovely. You're going to love it. It's so cool and beautiful and... Oh amazing beaches down there it's incredible all i can hear is kip boga honestly i think he uses the same thing you've been a fantastic servant of the club just kidding we got rid of your massive wage i like big wages and i cannot lie i don't expired oops eric godoy you know, they have rated him far too highly. George Mag something. McGeekern. How yes! Dude, if you can do just do the do the do the turn. Do the thing. Do the turn. Do the thing for me. Please do the thing. How much does he want? What are they even trying to tell me about contract negotiations? Like, yeah, okay. I want an impact sub. He wants to be a Trek Artista. Yeah, I don't think you get to. He wants no money. He wants nothing. One year extension after 10 games. Well, that's disgusting. Because <laughs> he's 38. He wants nothing. Look at his, look at his ability. He doesn't want anything. He wants 170,000 a year. We just got rid of Nemanja Goodell, who was making five and a half million a year. You're telling me late in a game, late in a game, late in a game. You bring this guy in, play him a ball. He's able to pick out a pass or two. You're not paying him anyway. Yeah, it's like, you're not paying. We're not paying him anything. He doesn't want, he just wants to be here. Why did I disagree to that? I didn't see the minimum fee release clause that he's put into the contract that I can't. Oh, wait, I'm in. Oh, shoot, dude. Because I'm in Spain. I have to have one. OK, so he's good. I'm just going to up it to 10 million. I'll up what I'm paying him. This is really it's, it's absolute peanuts at this level. No strikers. Great, great, great. Great find, everybody. Great work. You're killing it. Pro gamer. Still a pro gamer. Figured it out. I figured it out. Uh, do we have any more? Um, no. I, don't think, I think we're missing. We didn't sign enough staff or something. All right, so training. Training. Coaches, training, edit. Got it. 
So we have two fitness coaches that were conveniently doing the exact same thing. Gotta love the way the game lines this stuff up. Um, okay, we start with the assistant coach. I know he's competent at something. He is competent at that. Yeah. He is. He's technical attacking. He's got that in his wheelhouse. Now we have goalkeeping guy down here. Uh, we're going to need me to set up the cones for the fitness coaches because it's preseason. Oh, right. Oliver Bartlett and we have two five-star fitness coaches because, of course, we do. Juan V. Pinado. Juan V. Pinado is supposed to go right there. That's what he does. And yet somehow our assistant coach is just as good as Juan V. Pinado at it. So we can fire Juan V. if we need to. Uh, Juan Martigan, this guy stinks. We don't want him doing anything. That guy there. Uh, you could probably do anything. You couldn't. But you can do that pretty effectively. Um... Oh, his four discipline makes him, like, not as good of a coach. Bintage Marischal. That's unfortunate. Anyways, we do have an open spot for both attacking coaching positions, which is weird because I feel like we were looking for attacking coaches. You know what I'm saying? So this guy can do anything. How about an attacking tactical coach right there? Easy. And then you can definitely be that. No, you can't. Well, who am I looking at? Oh, no, Jake Daly, you got to be there. So we need a technical attacking coach and a technical possession coach. We need to hire both of them, fire the other two people, and life is good. Okay, technical attacking, technical possession. Technical possession, we can do that right now. Fifteens, and I want all five. That's insulting. All right, so I want sixteens, but four out of five. Okay, Elena Costa is still here. Yeah, all right. All right, Elena. Helena. Mental tech. Yeah, that's what we need. She's the only one that actually has both of the technical possession coaching stuff. So how much money do you want, Helena? Holy smokes. Yeah, we can do that. That's a lot of money, though. Okay, technical, attacking, coaching. We need a four out of five who's doing 16s. How about Enrico Nicolini? Except he doesn't have the attacking, so that's kind of important. I wish you could lock certain ones on that. Like, I don't need all of the stuff, but technical, attacking, 17, 15 from Turu Flores. That's the last opportunity here. Technical, technical, technical. It's 18, 16 for Nuno Gomes. Yeah, it should be good. Disciplines, uh, determinations, 11. <gasps> Josh, thank you for the 22 months. Too much money, is that ever a negative? Yeah, if you don't have any money left. Uh, Albert Brautialen is not any good in the game. No, we looked him up. Yesterday, big tragedy that he's not good. Uh, Nuno Gomes. Gomes, you're coming in. Hot. TK Salas, wow, look at that offer. That's the worst loan offer I've ever seen in my life. Ricardo Quaresma will be joining the club. What could possibly go wrong signing a 38-year-old? Ionic, thank you for the... Four months. Will Zeeland play a game today? The world may never know. Yeah, he will. Zeeland will play a game today. We just beat Den Bosch uh, pretty handily. I think the tactic's doing its thing. We're cooking. Field size, uh, minimum allowed or maximum allowed. They're pretty similar. Uh, we are old and kind of slow. So we are going to minimize. Gonna shrink the field a little bit so that we can hang with those young whippersnappers at Real Madrid. Season ticket sale update. Beautiful. Uh, right, I don't have my preset training stuff. So... Why would we do light? We need to do heavy mid. Heavy mid. Heavy. Hit the ground running. We need to work hard. There's only so much time before we got to start playing Lalaga, Lalaga matches. Where can we get the FAC save to play it? It'll come out soon. We need to, we need to say an official goodbye to that save first. We should have Eric Lamella taking penalties. He's one of our better choices. He's hurt. 
I haven't set my set piece takers yet. Can you tell? Alejandro Gomez should be put on impact sub. It'll better suit his playing amount. Now we can get him down from important player. Now another issue I've seen is, oh. Those are leadership courses, not language courses. That makes sense, because he's from Argentina. He probably already speaks Spanish. Unless he grew up in the German enclave. I was, uh, <laughs> I was watching a TikTok, right? Not a huge thing for me, but we are starting to make a few more of those funny videos and stuff. And uh, it was this girl who'd been traveling around, which, you know, traveling is always a good thing. And she was in, I think it was Argentina. And she was like, oh, I found this beautiful, idyllic Argentinian village where they speak German and they actually have one of the biggest Oktoberfests in the world and I was like oh neat don't look it up this man wanted to be a Romdeuter on the right and now he apparently not something that he can do what a signing Ricardo Quaresma you tell me we're not getting him off the bench you're we struggling to find players to well okay the scouting seems to be fun oh Edmund Tepsoba He's a little expensive, but Tepsoba is also the type of guy that we would love to sign. Uh, let's see. Transfers. We don't know. We don't know his interest yet. Okay. Tepsoba fits the bill, though. His mom is he in here? She usually is. I think she lurked. Ah, fair enough. I'm from Jamaica. That's sick. You got those Grealish calves? My calves actually took over. Oh my goodness. It's 1.3 million. S fan stream. My calves actually took over S fan stream for a sec. On accident. I tell you, he's like, I'm here for your mom. That's fair. No, she she is here. Uh, that happened. We were we were watching Thursday night football, and I sat down, and the calves, you know, the light caught them just right, and they just looked fantastic. And that was it. That was all. That was all anybody could handle. Apparently, how does it cost 1.33 million to fire these guys? And I'm totally gonna do it anyways. Get yourself a payout now. Um, okay. Oh right, we've got everybody. Go ahead and quick pick me a team, please. Joanne Jordan's listed and nobody is interested. So I totally thought that we would be moving him by now, uh, but it's not happening. Oliver, on the other hand, does have interest from around the bend. And, uh, hmm. I want to sign Byron Castillo, but he's not interested. Dude, dude. Just respect Bunu. He was in high school with me. I, I do. I respect Bunu. Three Jamaicans in the chat. Let's go, baby. Wow. So I'm talking about this is for Jamaica right now. I feel the rhythm and I feel the rhyme. As a Jamaican, what are your thoughts on Cool Runnings? I love that movie. Is that a bad thing? It's basically, I, I'm trying to, you know. Just checking. Four Jamaicans. That's what I'm talking about. You say Bolt in the chat? Yeah, he's in FM. Or he was in FM for like a year. Kike Salas. We need a center back. Bad. Dude, Korej was going to be hilarious. Can you recall Ocampos yet? No, but that's good thinking. We should definitely be checking on the callback for Ocampos and maybe Oscar as well. Like what he's able to do. Versatile, like, front midfield type of players. We just really need to move Sean Jordan. And we got to go to our B team and we got to move uh, Luis Angel Carmona. I will literally offer him out for nine million dollars. Somebody come, somebody come sign him, please. 
Cool Runnings is great. I know, but I'm asking like people from Jura like from Jamaica. It's a good movie. Okay, cool. Is that like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, obviously, it's a great movie. Coben Alvin for eight and a half million for Shawan Jordan. That's so low, dude. That is so low. You, be, you become unsettled if he's not allowed to speak to Coben Alvin. Okay, uh, give me 15. That was fun. He's already unsettled, so let's just make this happen a little bit. Um, 15. 15 million. Final answer. I get it, Shawan. You are upset. You're always upset. Uh, they weren't offering enough money for you. You know what your value is. I know what your value is, Shawan Jordan. You do know that, don't you? I'm going to offer you out for 15 million, and I set your asking price higher than that. I know you want to leave. Oh, we just lost to ADO Din Bosch after I rotated the team. How lovely. Was Zelen on S Fan's stream? I was. Yeah, he did a um, Thursday night football watch along and I hung out with him for the fourth corner. Cool Runnings is a water park in Jamaica? That is fun. I mean, we could find the moment my Cavs broke his stream. They did. Come on, Shawan! I need to move of you off my team, right? And I need a little money with which to maneuver so that we can sign one or two players that are going to end up being great, all right? That's all we need. Have you talked about it? But have you? Yeah, we've looked at Indrik. He's still dependent on potential entirely, but he looks pretty good. Play a Jamaican song in your background for the Jamaicans of screen recording. I, I, I cannot, on short notice, find a... Persuade Jordan to find a new club. That was easy. Joan Jordan, please convince somebody to spend $13 million on you. I do not want you here. Lots here are rumored to be interested in the player. Hey, Lazio. Lazio. Lazio, it's time. It is time. All right, I will give you a nice special 12 million discount, Lazio. Really? Really? Our team cohesion is going up. So we've got that going for us. We just need to make a couple of sales. Right. Still waiting for those guys to uh to to sign. Didn't we sign Where's the other coach? Did both the coaches sign or just one of them? Yeah, see this guy's still not supposed to be here. Okay. We signed one of them. Stan the man Robertson's not the guy. Uh it's probably Oh, it was Nuno Gomez, yeah. Taking your jobs, what he's doing. You be there until uh you, you be there until uh, I don't think the other person wants to join me. Maximum team salary is sixty-eight million. Oh, we're easy claps. Easy claps. Maximum team size twenty-five players. We only have two non EUs. God, they're so good. Uh Ricardo Quaresma fits into our registration beautifully. Uh getting rid of Adnan Yanazai was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Casper Dahlberg's a weird get. Um, John Jordan's going to be dropped for my registration. Who, who's the big money on this team? That guy was making the third most money on my team. Why was he still here? Now, I could blow the team up and try and get rid of Jesus Navas, the 36-year-old captain. That feels like a bad idea, though. He's not good enough to be making that amount of money. We're so old. We are so old. So we're going to unregister Joan Jordan, and we've got an open spot. And if we get rid of Oliver, we have two. And then we could recall Oscar and Lucas Ocampos. 
We can't guarantee that right now. So we're going to confirm our squad list here. We added Koreshma. Yay. Assuming we can mess with that later. It is, after all, July 30th and the transfer window's just getting rolling. Get Taka Fusa Kubo. This is when are you coming down? To Florida? Goodness. I'm coming down for, uh, I gotta see Mombot at some point. You're basically trying to fix a team on the decline IRL. Oh, good. Well, let me just take a knife to it then, huh? Hey, Zeus. I want to talk to you. We need to, we need to talk. Gomez stays. Job. Don't move people just to move them. I know I'm the person that tells other people that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be real mad if you list him. They do seem to love that guy. Come on now, let me bait an offer in. $12 million, Sean Jordan. I just need a little money I can spend. Zealand, you should totally get first name underscore last name. You nailed it. That was good. That was a very good imitation. A way to Feyenoord Rotterdam. Did we win? Okay, so we did entirely dominate the match. We just gave up four goals. Uh, I do think we need some center backs. Yeah, no, that's the, the first thing we set out to look for was center backs this window. Yuki, thank you for the eight months. Same old rubbish. You. demands to be too high for us. I 
Don't they want to unload Nacho? $3.3 million monthly fee. Really? Oh, David Alaba, they wouldn't want to. All right, Beer Kaluni. Who do you have around this? Yeah, they got Eric Garcia. Rojo. Signed Jules Kunde. Oh, I wish I could loan him TT. No, I don't. Wow, he's terrible. All right. Not having the name thing is annoying. Nathan Ake. Dang it! I oh, is interested. Well, I prefer to negotiate and then notice that afterwards. That's my goal. Not an improvement though, is he? Just looking for somebody that we would be able to loan in that would actually raise the level of the team. And what we're looking for is one of those guys that doesn't fit into the first team picture at a club like this, but they're like all already loaned out though. Chalaba's basically the only option. At least as we see it. Okay. It was absolutely worth a look. I can't believe you would uh, you would suggest otherwise. Lindelof? I would want serious contribution. They're serious uh, fees. Always taxes and fees. Get a spare center back. They have Davinson. He's so first team oriented. That's not bad. He's interested too. Favorite FM game. Davinson Sanchez is not foundationally opposed to joining our club as a center back. That is that is not bad. I, I don't know who that Deshaun Bernard guy is, but we are throwing a scout at him. Brooklyn Lions Foster. <laughs> Silly guy. Brooklyn's not even in the, the England. 
Neither is Zealand, so. So the scout on Davinson, uh... Hey, who, who is that? Stuff with the 15 months? Thank you. Just linked their IRL last summer while we're just trying to imit you know, real life imitates art, so. Art is now imitating real life. Gabriel. Gabriel. What are you doing here? You loaned him once. Thanks for the entertainment, Zed. And we all love Mombot. Oh, it's disgusting. ESG, you got a defender? You don't want pre no, none of these guys. Marquinhos. Nordi Mukiele. Price isn't that high to get Nordi in, but he's also not that good. So, hi, is this new game FM23? Yes, Ferretta, thank you for the eight months. You can't go for like an Akma dosage or uh These guys are settled now. Danielli Rogani. Danielli Rogani. Not bad. Option to buy him for five million at the end of the loan, but he's also not. Transcendent Federico Gotti. Now, they're the ones that brought in Chris Smalling in the first place. All the guys they're going to have for loan aren't going to be good enough for us anyways. There's only a few clubs that would have guys good enough for loan. Yeah, Smalling has been on Roma. I'm going, I'm going to Bayern next. That's where I'm headed. Bayern Munich. Alexander Nubel, you're a goalkeeper. Get out of my way. Benjamin Pavard. Benjamin, oh really? You're still considering? Oh, that's cute. Okay. They have a lot of uh, center backs on their team. Josip Stanisic. Nope. What about Dortmund? Oh, he's got center backs all over the place. Imre John. Somehow I don't think Matt Summers is leaving. They even have Nusar Masrawi, like, every... <sighs> every guy we were signing last year. The no-go. Take a look at Bashiro Maragic. Akhmedozic has already moved in this, right? Sorry, Anel. Yeah, he has fiddlesticks. Hmm. I already looked at McGuire. I was like, hey, do you want me to take him off your hands for you? Edmund Tepsoba. Oh, how we do not have the money for you right now, Edmund.
And oh, how I wish I did, Edmund. Body of Sheila is too expensive now. We used to be able to get him for really cheap, but Benoit is too expensive. How? Nobody's willing to pay any money at all. Uh, who's the best player on our team? You know, Prejma wants seven. We'll give it to him. Mitrovic wants 13. We'll give him to him. Uh, Balbunu also wants 13, so that's why Dimitrovic doesn't get 13. Uh, Fernando Jesus Navas gets... What do you want? Seven? Yeah, you get it over Koreshma for sure. Delaney gets eight. Rafamir gets nine. Alejandro Gomez gets ten. This guy with 11. Ryan Johansson. I don't even know who you are. You're Irish. Chill. So I think it's that attacking midfielder Alejandro Gomez, but he's got a preferred uh, preferred bit there. So we need to put a player in uh, in the honorary number 20, and we're going to do that with Ivan Rakitic. There we go. See, I don't know. Obviously, the scouting is new, so we don't have a good feel for how to set up our scouting. We're kind of wandering around in the dark right now. Otamendi wouldn't be a bad pickup for a season. Our team is already old. They're going to be like first team commitments, but if you want to spend some money, you can pick up Nicholas Otamendi for the cool price of just 3.4 million and Otamendi will step right in for you. Thank you. Maybe that's what we want to do. Maybe we want to bring in Nicholas Otamendi to anchor our back line. I don't think we can be super active in the way that we play anyways because we're so unathletic. Jaden Warner, no. Luis Sao. They've listed Sabitzer? I mean... Wage demands are too high. Oh, he adjusted. He actually went down. That's cool. We just told the agent we thought the wage demands were too high and it went down. All right, thank you for the two months, the prime. payroll budget up there we we can't really our, our salary cap is lower than that so
Nah. Nah. I think Oceaner used to be a car salesman. Yeah, he's, he's putting some moves in there. Lucas Ocampos. I am desperate to recall Lucas Ocampos and get him around this team. It'd be awesome. So we did find Edmund Tapsoba. That is the one guy we found that were like, this guy fits the bill as a center back that would improve your team. I wholeheartedly agree. So how do I get you a transfer offer that we can live with? How do we get Juan Jordan out the door for any amount of money at all? And Luis Angel Carmona. I also am desperate to get you out the door. So I need to make two sales, please. Please allow us to make two sales. Thank you. I have considered Batty Ashile. Yeah, I would, I would, I would typically love that. That's bad. No, uh, no. And he would become unsettled if we didn't let him speak to Lazio. Well, the amount of money that you have said that you would need for it to be a reasonable deal for you to leave is not the amount of money they gave me, so. I don't even understand your complaint, sir. I don't even understand. Building up that match fitness. Oh. Who'd we just lose to? Oh, Napoli. Otherwise known as Partha, nope. If he can just beat Sturm Graz 4-0 right there. Partha, nope. Hello? Hi, this is Mark, and I'm a local electric consultant with Consumer Counts on a recorded line. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Now, I'm with Consumer Counts, and you can press one to be removed, and I'm calling the residents in your area in regards to the recent tax incentives and government rebates available for solar on your home. I just have a few more questions to see if we can qualify your home for a $0 out-of-pocket solar quote. Is this the, the, is this, is this the, the 2904 address in Florida? You know, I completely understand your concerns. A lot of people don't believe that they need solar energy. However, we have helped numerous people. I just have a few questions that only take a minute or so more, okay? Oh, wait. Is this like a fake recorded thing? I understand your concern, and I can definitely relate. I'm not going to ask you for any personal information that you need to worry about. Basically, I'm going to get a good idea if you qualify for one of our programs, okay? I'm, not even, I, I, I'm not even wearing any pants right now, man. I'll be honest. I'm with Consumer Council. My callback number is 833-213-3696. Did I break that? There's no way that guy was real. Right? But it kind of ended at the right time. That was a bot. That was definitely a bot. That was a bot or somebody who was so married to the script and so done with it that they didn't even... That was wild. <sighs> right? But, it, oh, yeah, it had to be pre-recorded messages. It definitely was that like that one. I totally it was weird because it definitely sounded like a real like a real boy. <laughs> I don't really know that one. And then all of a sudden I, I can't remember. I was I asked about the address because it's like the address that apparently in this whatever book that they have. I'm like the person to call for that address. And so I get one spam call a day at least of somebody trying to buy that address or whatever. Um, so I was like, oh, is this about that address? And then he just like rattles off. Uh, absolutely not. 
I can understand your concerns about solar energy. And I'm like, what? You don't understand my concerns about any solar energy at all. Of course, wait, thank you for the prime. Oh, screen. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, that was foolish. I was literally just setting up this training. I swear you didn't miss anything. Still a still a professional streamer. I review all your transfer business so far. We sold Goodell and we got Ricardo Quesma for free. Great recommendations. Oh, Moses Simone. Okay. Not a bad wreck. Thank you. The near match. Pedro. Isn't he 80 years old? Is he not? He's not 80 years old. Okay. Show other recommended players. Now we're making a little progress. Ben Knight. Interesting wreck. Um, show other recommended players. Adam Aruzic. I don't like the fact that when you click on this and click back, it goes back to this screen and doesn't keep you here. That seems unnecessary Guillerme Bala that's not true Iago Santiago no I think Adam Maruzic is their probably favorite recommendation then Sabitzer obviously Sabitzer's fantastic him and him and Delaney would be a remarkably talented double pivot if we wanted to do that if we wanted to 442 especially for when we do the uh it's lads, it's Tottenham tactic. That would be great. To have those guys as a double pivot. They are fantastic for that. Fernando is 35. Is my entire team geriatric? I didn't even notice that this guy was 35 years old. It may be difficult to find a suitable club. And let me guess, if I offer him out, he's not going to react. Well, let me persuade you. You're not in my plans. Uh, salary's too high. You're gonna be offering. Uh, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna be offering out. Can't find a place for you in my tactical setup. What if you change your system? Oh, Freaking! I implore you to understand why I'm doing this. Okay, offering out Fernando, another 35-year-old. Boom, got him. 1.4 million to Brazil. Give me 2.1 or 1.8 works for me. I'll just take the money up front, please, instead of this Copenhagen offer. And we dump another geriatric dude on the side of the road. Beautiful. Incredibly well done. I implore you to reconsider. Nobody uses those words. We keep losing all of a sudden. Just got on the beta today and went to do a Nottingham Forest save due to their excessive players bought this summer. That their sounds reasonable. Cohesion is actually terrible. I see players making mistakes 24 seven and I'm in December without a win. Help. Maybe we need to do a save your saves earlier this year. <laughs> that does not sound uh, particularly fun. Pumping that team bonding, that community outreach in there. Oh, Mallorca, that was our last friendly. We're about to start playing matches. Okay, cool. Um, good, so we need to make sure that we have all of our match boosts going into this one. Set up a little training, and away to Mallorca is our first actual match. We are not going to be a complete squad, but I do hope we're able to find... Man, we've had good XG. That hadn't been enough. Saving your beta save. I already got sacked. There you go. Saving your... You guys are titling it for me already. Saving your beta saves. I need to get this guy off the team. I, I absolutely need to get this guy off the team. I need to get uh, Jean Jordan off the team. How does Lazio not po like just pony up with $10 million and I will sell you Jordan? And nobody. It's nobody. Deshaun Bernard. It just... Hey, is uh, it happy six months not that good. Jafet Tanganga. Would be a very good signing for the future. See, I'm not I'm not on that. Davinson Sanchez, do we finish this? We do have, we have extensive knowledge of Davinson Sanchez. Would be a good signing. I know he doesn't he, you don't seem as excited about it as I feel like you should be. Nordy Mukiele. Extensive knowledge, good pace, good size, covers the ground well. He's young, he's played for France. And I'm gonna talk to his agent. We're interested. 
Not interested in a move. Okay. Bashiro Maragic, is he actually good? Nope. But I don't know. He's young and not old and uh, is a solid center back. So... He's young and not old and is okay. Let's do defending today. It's not perfect from what we normally do, but the general idea. Team bonding, community outreach, match prep, teamwork, defensive shape, and attacking movement. Ready for Atletico Bill, Athletic Bilbao. Sorry, I always do that. I always say Atletico. I always offend somebody, and I want you to know I don't mean it. I'm just an American, and I, I'm learning. Yeah. What are your reasons for signing him? He is young and not old. Fernando's the current vice captain. Oh, I'm selling the vice captain. I will be... I'm going to warn Fernando. Hey, you're losing the captain. Um... The uncertainty are surrounding your future. And I'm glad that's an option because Rakitic makes more sense anyways. I am so not happy with the asking price we're having to offer for Jordan. Not good. But if I get one more tactical recommendation about set piece takers just because I haven't set them yet. I'm going to lose it. All right, I want the end swingers. So Alex tell us who is suspended naturally will be taking from the right side before these other fools. Past that though, we're not going to be doing any uh <coughs> any tailoring. Look at that, Gonzalo Montiel. Beautiful. Just like to set that up so we know who's taking them. Please do not tell me anything. Oh, cool. They're going to tell me anyways. Thanks. Contracts expiring in the near future. They could possibly prove useful to an affiliate team. No, I'm good. Uh, Jose Anel Carmona is tracking a fair amount of interest in the transfer market and should probably put the asking price up a little bit. Yeah, well, those offers aren't coming in, Bob. I would love that $15 million in the bank for Jose and Hel Carmona, but that money is not arriving right now. Squad's happy that I'm the manager. Okay. That's good news. It's better than being sad. won't be bullied into selling out for that amount of money. Hi, Pedro. This is a top priority, okay? And we are searching the continent of Europe. All right, and this is ongoing. I wish I'd, uh, no, we, uh, that's what the change that I'm making is we need an ongoing and we're looking for talented first team, but affordable center backs. And we are also looking for talented first team, but affordable strikers in Europe. And we're going to flag it as ongoing. And we're going to let the, the scout assigning do it, do, do their thing. We need Europeans though. Because of our unbelievably racist league rules that only allow us to sign EU players, whatever. Just thought I'd, you know, just thought I'd, just thought I'd mention it. Just thought I'd point it out. Yeah. I'm going to top priority a midfield scouting trip just to see if we can find somebody in Europe. These discriminatory practices cannot stand. They will not stand. First match predictions. Yeah, my first match at FM23. Goodbye, Fernando. You've been a fantastic servant of the club. See you later, home slice. Okay. We are thinning the herd, effectively. Thomas Delaney. He's a little slow, isn't he?
PK Salas. Why I, I set the dang thing and I totally didn't confirm it, and that's my bad. I was like, I already knew I had to go do that and set it up so that I could loan people out with my offer out perfectly. It'd be fine. You can sign African players. Most don't count towards uh, the EU thing. Sean Jordan for nine million. See, Man City's making progress. Man City. What do you want with Joan Jordan? Old Joan of Arc over here. Um. Sure. Trying to inject the youth into this team, build a new team, all that stuff. We do need to get him off the team because he's a little upset. And so Manchester City seems like a great way to do that. And we break it down. We get we figure out how much money we're able to put in the bank. And hopefully we can sign a center back and a midfielder. And I would love to get a star striker, but who wouldn't, right? Check the rules, see what qualifies to see you. I don't really need to... Uh... Check it right now, because we can't sign Diddley or Squad. Sign Oscar Gluck. Everybody's in love with this Oscar Gluck kid. And I don't blame them, because... I looked at those attributes. He's got it going on. Maybe we should. Everybody else is probably signed an Oscar Gluck. Let's go take a look. We're also going to set an ongoing recruitment focus because I can't help myself of players that have potential literally anywhere in the world. Just looking for them. Just looking for them. Kike Salas, no first team. Where's the uh, respond all? There we go. Solace will stay here then. That's fine. It's probably the oldest team I've ever had. Set to make my debut as head coach. Are you confident your preparations, preparations lead to a good start? Think we're in a good position? Yeah. Most experts think Delaney's performance this will be a key factor. I think our team's a strong one, but he has enormous, uh, enormous quality. Oh, goodness. I'm going to miss those Austrian press conferences. There you go. I might start sending my uh, assistant. I don't know if I have the patience for that every game. Oh, thank goodness. I saw that pop up. I'm like, absolutely not. How's Espanol Gijon the... Curtain Razor? Oh, okay. Ticket office confirmed that the club has sold 40,000 season tickets. We're massive. Whew. All right, we've got a good staff. We know that. Tell us is suspended. We know that. Um, let's remove the unavailable players. Wait, we're allowed to have a full bench? Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, Rafa Mir starts. Actually, just quick pick me a team so I don't have to do all of this. Uh, Suso. Yeah. And then Gomez. Yes. Delaney. Yes. Nianzu and Rakic. Okay. Carmona and Acuna. Not Carmona. And I want Isco. I want Rafa Mir. And I want... Gonzalo Montiel. 
Is this a demo? It's not a demo. It is like a game you can play out forever, but it's also the beta, so they're looking for bugs. That's why they drop it early, uh, so that you can find the bugs and such, fix the game, patch it up, make it better, which is great. I mean, I love the fact that they do that, but you can't start like your uh, long form save here. We've got a few spots in the team, just if you wanted to hop on in. Uh, who's got the potential? Iker, Villar. Maybe we can get him out there if we dominate the game. I don't know. All right, so Rafa Mir, Tecatito, Calrona. Isco, Alejandro Gomez, Thomas Delaney. We have a very unathletic midfield. Um, yeah. We'll see how that plays early. Uh, Acuna's taking that left back spots. Rekic, Nianzu, Gonzalo Montiel. <sighs> oh, they have Kang in Lee. He's actually good. That's so annoying. Amoth in die is good. No, nope, this is not for next match only. This is for all matches ever of all time. You ready? Near post corner. Get my tallest two guys there. And we pump the ball to that near post and we make dreams come true. Okay, and we need two defensive guys back. That'd be Delaney and Gonzalo Montiel because we have one guy taking those. From there, um, are you tall? Somebody needs to be tall. Uh, Alejandro Gomez, you're gonna lurk. Okay, DR, DM, back. Andre Gomez is lurking. Hashtag Team Tall Boys, delivery near posts. At Tangi Nianzu, who is like all of a sudden hyped up as the guy. Defend, I want zone of five. Always do a zone of five. They did not fix this glitch. This is... This, this, this. When you click on somebody at the far end of the zone here and somebody, I'm sure it's broken here too, on the far end of the zone here, it just doesn't show the actual important attributes. This has to be an e I, I'm not an expert. Should be easy to fix, right? It feels like something that is small and... You just remove a little cover, and then all of a sudden, boom, there you go. Okay, learning the height of my team here. We've got Suso carrying edge of the area, and we want Rafa Mir running edge of the area, which means we are going to need to make ourselves a little shorter. So we'll take Rafa Mir, stick him up here. All right, who do we have? Bring him in left midfield. Got that. So Lurker is the DL. So those are, those, the, those are the five, the glorious five. Put that shorter one in the middle. So we're going to save all routines as basic. Okay, so that we don't need to, don't need to adjust anything further. We're also going to take a look at our attacking throw-ins. We're gonna bring Tangi Nianzu in there. You there, you back, you back. Corona goes short. Corona goes short. We want big guys up so that we can swing the ball into them quickly. We want two guys back. Except the left-sided throw-in guy is usually gonna be the guy, so. Yeah, it works. Yep. Now save all routines. That's basic. Oh, geez. Now that always takes a little time. Let's go win a freaking match. Why are you getting six? I guess you're kind of a first team player, so that checks out. How does this guy not have a number?
What happens? He can't, he has no number he can wear. How does that make any sense? Let's do this. Just hadn't heard the anime wow in a while. Figured like I'd kick it on. All right, chat. Final score predictions. What do you have? Us against Mallorca. The fans expect a win. I have faith in you. Does this matter to any of you? A few. Let's do it. 4-1, a 4-0 loss. Oh, okay. Joseph, thank you for the prime. Charlie, I appreciate the six months. Of course, Wayne, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for being a part of the hammers. That bacon in the chat, the emotes to throw around. So I'm expecting some fireworks. I think maybe like, uh, I'm looking for a 2-0 win, you know? Looking for a 2-0 win. This crowd audio sounds weird, doesn't it? All right, here we go. My ball. Isco, what's up? Suso. Hey, Suso! Rough him in! And a fabulous early move for Severe. I like it. I like Isco actually moving, not being like a, just a pole, you know? All right, Rakic. Nice and easy, brother. Did we, you know, I don't think we actually had, yeah, we do have play out of defense on it, actually. That's why I don't remember clicking it. All right, Rakic, good to carry. Thomas Delaney, who I trust with the ball implicitly. Oh, he's going for Rafa. Okay. Gonzalo Montiel, no. Anybody want to, yep, that's pretty easy, okay. Well, that animation was weird. Oh, great pass. Papu, who is Papu Gomez? And why is his name Papu Gomez? Oh, that's the Argentinian midfielder. Goes by Papu Gomez. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Alejandro Gomez is Papu Gomez. Okay, Gonzalo Montiel. Excellent defending. We're keeping the ball really well. Uh, encourage the lads from the touch line. Important to get wins early in the season so we can build up that locker room atmosphere as well. We need to build this into a machine. Oh, Rafa Mir. Dang it. It's okay. Oh, yes. Papu. Oh, Papu. Rafa Mir. Isco. Suso. Oh, the cross was there, Suso. Thank you, Gonzalo Montiel. Suso got himself back on side. Now he whips it in. Rafamir! What save is this? We're playing as Sevilla. It's our first match. We really only sold a couple guys and worked on our new set of tactics, so. But we've improved the team cohesion a lot, which was really a point of the preseason. Oh, Tecatito, what a pass! Papu Gomez, Suso! Papu's moving well, though. We're ending up in good spots, and I think we're definitely up on this game. Oh, it's Ekatito. Oh, it's Ekatito. Papu. That's easy. That's easy. Make sure we get it. Come on, boys. Definitely feels more chaotic. Nice takeaway. Tecatito Corona. Flair filled. Used absolutely none of that 18 flair on that play. Come on. He's begging for a spot like that. And he used none of it. 
running right at one defender going towards the goal and he just tries to shoot it it's right back to corner he's on side good acuna going first time he had suso at the back post oh suso that's poor they are all over this game though this is good good stuff tactics working well we're really really controlling what they're doing which is good because every team we play is going to be more athletic than us so we need to make sure we're in control of the tempo of the game oh perfect time to score never a bad time this is a really good time to score we've played well enough to deserve the goal i've liked what i've seen from gonzalo montiel i've liked what i've seen from isco yep oh you gotta make the pass quick up to isco Delaney I don't hate it their defense is not set up to deal with that particularly well Delaney's just boss that guy Ecatito. there you go East go set it shoot it I'm using the training principles for FM 22 but I haven't really uh I haven't made the stuff we've created a lot of chances don't lose faith um You've not been good enough, Acuna. Is there anybody else we should be yelling at? Uh, not yelling at, but encouraging. I have faith in you. At least it worked on Suso. The nerves are high for some reason. We've really controlled the game. And we've been all over it. We've had, we've created basically all the stuff that we wanted to, except for an actual goal itself. Is it just me or the transfer budget seem off? I mean, I only had six million, so maybe. Maybe the transfer budgets are coming in low. The values seem low. Ooh, great pass, Suso. Great touch by Rafa Mir. Uh, see, that touch looks a lot more realistic. It does feel a little clunky to me in parts, but that touch felt really good. Like Rafa Mir chesting it up. It's like that. That's a realistic kind of slight mistouch by Suso. Come on, Montiel. You don't have to work the line there. You've got the inside pass. You don't have to feel bottled up at all. There we go. Keep them off their midfielders. Force them to play the ball long. Rekic, Isco. Oh, Gonzalo Montiel. Dang it. Really about to praise him for stepping in front of that ball again. Oh, they found him off and die. It's a tight angle. We're fine. Yep. That's the best they could. That's a push. That's a push on them. That's the best they can create. I'm okay with that. The ball over the top to Amoth. Very tight angle. We have a good shot stopping keeper. They had to get through a couple of perilous positions in order to create that at all. Good ball by Isco again to open things up. Suso, one more! Locked. Should have passed it, though. Come on, boys! Acuna snap to the left and cross it in it's an obvious move little set piece goal teensy weensy set piece goal please I'm so happy with the way we've played considering our team is in flux and everything we've done exceptionally well oh come on he wasn't sell out numerically a little bit more. Wow, boxing bat. You can really count it up, huh? Joey, thank you for the prime. Joseph likes waffles. Thank you for the prime. How did they just get their best look while I was looking at chat? How dare they? Woody, thank you for the two. And uh, boxing bat, you're, you're on the run now. We've spent a lot of Jeff Bezos money today. And that's important. Oh, they switched their tactic. No, we just got really flat-footed there. Hey, boss, you stay, okay? And I'm going to advance playmaker you, Isco, so maybe you do a little bit more in terms of... Cre Actually... Thomas Slaney, you gotta leave him there. Tecatito, you're gonna go on to attack. We're gonna check. Anybody playing poorly? Acuna is 
Uh, Acuna is on a 6.2, but of course our other freaking left back is suspended. So you're basically what we've got, unless I want to stick Kareem Rakic out there. Uh, how about wing back? We're going to simplify your role, okay? We are going to simplify your role, and we are going to move Papu Gomez up to an, uh, yeah, a more advanced position. You're still deep lying playmaker. I feel like... Allow him to be a little more aggressive once he gets up there. East goes exhausted. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's injured and he's apprehensive. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Let's do Papu Gomez as the advanced playmaker up there. And I'm thinking maybe an Oliver or Rakitic. I think a, Ra a Rakitic and a box to box. There we go. Now let's make the magic happen here. Ivan Rakitic, you are in for Isco as I pull the trigger. Koreshma, I'm looking at you for the last like 10 minutes. Maybe he can come in and do something. You have to make Kinsella Montiel more aggressive. Is that gonna work? Yes, it is. Suso looking lively. Oh, I loved it. Oh yes, Papu Wyatt. Every shot is a mile over the bar. Everybody's apprehensive. Everybody's starting to feel it. I've liked what Suso is doing in this game. Maybe explore moving him inside, putting Delaney there. How do we sub off? Papu's playing well. Tecatito's been active. Um. So I want to do is bring in Koreshma, but he only play over there and then we just like trek artista quaresma no that's a terrible idea it does it doesn't work for this game because we don't we are so nervous this is insane man we are really nervous Koreshma's really the only guy that isn't affected by that. I'm going to bring him in for Tecatito. It'll work if Acuna is able to figure out what the heck he wants in his life. If not, um, of Gomez run the middle there. Delaney there. Rakitic there. We'll progress up to a 4-2-3-1. And then maybe we go Yusuf and Naziri for Rafa Mir, but bringing in nervous guys just doesn't seem like a winning strategy right now when nerves are a big issue in the team. I don't know why we're so nervous for Mallorca away, but... Oh, you should have passed it again, Rafa. Look at this. Through there into the space or that way directly. Not going to score from out there, boss. You're not. Set piece goal would be huge for us because we have played really well today. All right, Rakitic. Fine. This is ours. We've, we've gotten our plays from this position before. Oh, yes. No, why? Oh, it's on him. Red card. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Allow me to get creative. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Zealand. What? Yep, it is Zealand. Koreshma is delighted to be making his debut. Suso, you are nervous. I have an opportunity to bring in Nisri there. You are an advanced playmaker. Delaney, you are screening behind that. Rakitic, you are center mid attacking from this position. Do you understand me? Okay. We are double advanced forwarding. Rafamir is on that side. Yusuf and Naziri is on the right side. That's our final change. Gonzalo Montiel is going to fall back and attack. We are going to absolutely elevate what we are doing. We are going to play higher up the field. Um... Uh, 
Not that we necessarily should do that, but we are going to, and we're going to play with energy, and we're going to play very attacking. We're going to throw ourselves at them. He just elbowed Rakitic for no particular reason. Flagrant violence in the game today. Knock it down, and it should be all us. Yes, there's the pass in Naziri. He's offside. Now, why would we go for that, Koreshma? You're too smart for that. Papu. Oh, wide from a boy, Gonzalo Montiel. Yusuf in Naziri. Oh! Acuna. Oh, good ball. Montiel. Oh, that's not it. It's still us. Keep him under siege. Keep him under siege. Come on, boys. Come on. Great spot. Acuna. Papu. Papu! Change. Intended target of the set piece. Supposed to be different. Why did all the changes remove somebody from the back post, or did I just forget to do that? Okay. Whew. Rakitic. Yes. Tangi and Anzu. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah, passing the space. We've got runs from behind now. Oh, let's go. Let's go. You know this is our look. You know this is our look. Rakitic. Yes. Rafa. Thank you, Acuna. Thank you, Acuna. Way to settle it. You've got Montiel. Great pass. Gonzalo. Gonzalo Montiel. Oh, what is that pass? We're not even on super direct. We're just supposed to push the ball up the field quickly. Yes, Gonzalo. Turn quickly, Papu. Thank you. Slip that first line and it's open. Rakitic. Oh my goodness! Yusuf in the series! <laughs> oh, in the game! Yusuf in the series with seconds remaining! The super substitute, Yusuf in the series! The big Moroccan, unbelievable! They've won it with no time left! Yes! 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 Let's reeking go! Yes! Oh, it's the beauty of football. It's Yusuf in this area to break Mallorca's heart. With seconds, not minutes remaining. What a delivery by Ivan Rakitic. And it's a well taken finish by in this area. Precise, right through. Those tweaks at the end make the difference. And a goal for separation. Just lay him out. Oh, or clean tackle. That works too. Nice, Rakitic. That is experience. Oh, he's just standing on the ball. I love that. The behind goal view is fantastic for that. What a win. What a win. Oh. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about, finding that goal. Big three points. Got to start the season off right. You know, big three points. Start the season off right. Isco got a bruised ankle. Yeah, you got a bruised ego, too. First win in your first competitive match. Great way to start. Yeah, Rafa Mir had a pretty torrid time in front of He contributed. He did do a lot of things well. Yeah, and I thought Delaney was fantastic. Javier Aguirre. Got one over him. Hopefully now Javier's everyone else watching today take a little bit take us a little bit more seriously. I don't, I don't know. Can you tell us about the relationship? I don't know him, but I respect him. Jordan's future speculation is rife. 
Um, some you need to ask him. No, I mean, Kurejma is 38. He's not going to be playing a lot of full matches, but he offers a ton of quality in short bursts towards the end of games, and that's how we used him. That's how we used him in that game. Kurejma did great. What a great pressing statue. Thank you. Great observation there. So... Once we complete this transfer of Joan Jordan, we will have 9 million plus 13 million. We'll have, you know, $22 million in the budget. We want to go get Top Soba. We could sell Gonzalo Montiel, but it doesn't make any sense. He's a good player that doesn't cost a lot of money for us to keep on the team. Um, I don't like the nerves that we showed as a team there early on, but uh, that's huge for the club atmosphere that we put that together and the fact that Sean Jordan is gone as well and he's not really a locker room guy. That's great. We need to just keep blending the team and... I... <sighs> Honestly, after watching Delaney play the way that he played, like... I kind of want to go get another brains first midfielder, and that's just the way we're going to do this. But striker seems to be a bigger concern than I initially let on. This is purely a big overreaction from one game, but it does seem to be a bigger concern than I thought initially. Why do we have 53 people in this list? From what? Wait, this is when did you guys actually start working? Yerme Bala. Oh, yeah, we don't actually like him or him. Or uh, Danny Leva. So he's available to sign for free. I don't... He's not awful, right? He's just below average. Giacomo Buenaventura. Yeah, because I need more injured 32-year-olds. Oh, Yuri Tielemans. Now, he would be an interesting pickup for this team. He kind of fits the way that we play. Can we loan him? No, but we're going to put him on the definitely list. So we definitely take him. Aaron Juan Basaka, very interested in a loan move. Mr. 20 tackling. Only guy with 20 tackling in the entire game. Uh, if he's... A little prohibitive, but we... You never know. You never know. Ed Carlos. Hi. <sighs> Tielemans to be gold. He fits into that Isco role for us. Slotting right into that midfield. Yeah, we know. Tepsoba. Did we not add him to the definite least list already? Because I should have. Mauricio. How you doing, boss? Frederick Winther. Also slang right now. Aiden Je Oh, that's the that would be to me right there. Bring in Aiden Jekka to hold the ball up and let our creative wingers flood past him, and then all of a sudden the ball comes back to Aiden Jekka and he scores. I do make signings like that often. Especially when we're looking at this type of save. Rodrigo Viagra Tigris. Defensive midfielders got the attribute distribution of a center back almost. I'm good. Trey Cole. Riddle Baku. Mr. Versatility himself. Oh, I do love Ilya Sabarny. Now, if there's a wonder kid freaking center back out there to be had, this is the guy. I'm going to bring him in now. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to loan him. 100% fee. Mandatory future fee of $15 million that we don't pay this season so that I can make other moves in the budget. We'll pay his full wage. Man Actually, can we not? It's not his wage. It's not bad. He's stupid to offer, and then that would potentially screw us. So they want us to pay him playing monthly fee. Uh, how about we pay twenty million for Ilya Zabarni at the end of the season? Twenty million for Ilya, and then we don't pay any loan fee. 
Okay, well, I might as well just freaking buy him now, give then. Give me Wrexham or give me death. I'm locking. We, we're not paying a fee. I'll give you a $2.5 million bonus if we win the Spanish Cup, and I will give you a $2 million bonus if we win the Champions League, but I am not paying that. Maybe persuaded? I mean, no, I need... Okay, whatever. They're not prepared to negotiate. That's fair. I will give you... I will give you $7 million right now. And then three 12 monthly installments that add up to $5 million. I will give you that right now for Ilya Sabarni, please. He really is great. Pedro Gonzalez. Oh, our team could use this guy. I'm making him a freaking striker on this team. How do we get both of these guys on the team? That's my question to you. Five million up front with three 12 monthly installments that very well could bankrupt this club. I'm gonna go with, let's see, 35 million. We got to cheese it a little bit. We don't have a lot in the transfer budget. We're, we're a financially healthy club, and we need to get young talent into the team. So Barney and Pedro Gonzalez would be pff, a crazy window. I can take this deal right now. You want 32 million up front? You want 32 million? I want to pay six. They just shifted the money down. Yeah, okay. I'll pay 31 and seven up front. Is he, I didn't even check because I totally didn't think we were going to be able to do that. His wage isn't terrible. Oh my... Okay. We, yeah, of course we're Lelujo, we're Lelujoing because we have a very healthy, secure financial structure, but they're not putting it in the transfer budget because I have only been here for like a week and a half. That is when Lelujoing is like the mandated uh, approach to everything. That is what Lelujoing is for, where you shift that money and you pay it over the next couple of years because you can actually freaking afford it. If, wait, 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 wait. So I get Odomendi and I get Zabarnyi and I get Gonsalves and I get Sabitzer. We're going to figure a way out. <laughs> We're going to figure a way to make all of this happen because Sabitzer is like instant quality upgrade. We know that. Alexi Sealmockers. I don't think he's an instant quality upgrade for the team. I'm going to throw him in the maybes, even though my scouts absolutely love him. Ooh, this is the exciting, most wonderful time of the year. Jose Campagna at Levante. Now he makes sense. Mohamed Kudus. And yeah, we could get really young in the attack. I don't know. Oh, he doesn't like big matches. Never mind. Get out of here. I've had enough of that. Wilf Zaha. You want to play in the Champions League, Wilf? I know you do. I know you want to play in the Champions League, Wilf. He rises to the occasion. I agree. It's pretty high here. I don't know if he's an upgrade, but hi. Emil Forsberg. Yeah, but he's 30. We're building that. We're, we, you know, even we're, we're building that. We're building it. Salisu. He's one of those dudes. It makes sense. And he would want to play in the Champions League, and he has the quality to play in the Chiefs. No loan interest, really. None. Like, zero loan interest. Pedro Neto has loan interest. And he has pace. 
What do they want? Oops. Wrong number. Want a lot. Gustavo Gomez. Paraguayan center back. Playing in Brazil. Hmm. No, he's maybes. Definitely maybes. Sabitz is the recommendation that they're like, look, you should freaking sign this guy. Failed the current ability check. I don't know. Alexi McAllister is also great. I He's just too expensive. Marvelous Nakamba. You, we can't get Marvelous Nakamba. What about Nicholas Capaldo? Nope. What about Enzo? People love Enzo. Oh, okay. Center backs, recommendations. Still, it's so to Mindy. Okay. Juan Foyts, Dante, who's 38. So I'm glad we're sticking. Oh, Jose Fon. Be perfect. He's the perfect guy to sign for this team. Why are there so many old guys? The story of Sevilla. Why are there so many old dudes here? It's more appeal from Tottenham. He's less interested in Inter. You know, first of all, thank you. Um, Shadow Striker is an attacking midfielder. No, I want to remove both of those things. And I also want to remove this just to see if we can start this negotiation. And we can, which is awesome. Uh, the board's limiting the wage there, unfortunately, uh, Pedro. But man, if he release clause 103 million, sounds great. I want to get rid of your sell-on fee percentage, but I'm going to add a few bonuses. One, relegation release clause of zero dollars. Two, uh, we are going to add a landmark season goal bonus of 250,000 if you get to 25 goals and assists. And we're also going to add a bonus every time you get an international cap. I will pay you $20,000. Understood, right? And I also want to pay you like $4.5 million a year. Uh, and we will pay out a goal bonus equivalent to your assist bonus, or a little higher than that, $15,000 every time you score a goal. Okay, we've got a pretty reasonable contract negotiation going on here, and we're able to win it out. Easy! Hi. Uh, what is your reaction for our interests? I think we've got a good deal on the table. I think we got a good deal on the table. I'm freaking pumped. I like him so much. Lelujo got him in our network save, and I always hated that he was able to get his hands on him. Dimitrovic, backup goalkeeper. Sure, go get yourself some fitness. Um, still waiting on the Juwan Jordan to go through. That's going to allow us to get Ilya. They haven't responded to the Ilya offer, right? No, they haven't. The extension up to 12 million. I mean, Fika is running the league path playoff right now. Is our next match? Bill Bow, right? Yeah. What do your scouts think of Jota Exceltic? Huh? It's a Barney offer rejected. What if I gave you 7 million? See, I knew we weren't far away. I freaking knew we weren't far away. I'll give you six million up front, and I'll give you ten million later. That works for me. Ilya Zabarny, nineteen-year-old center. We're getting younger. We're getting better. Okay, we're getting younger and we're getting better. Zabarny, what do you want? Playing time pathway up to important player. I have no problem with that at all. You've got a great future. Ah, you want to see what we're willing to offer, right? That's the that's the whole game here. Well, I'm talking. A million dollars a year is where I'd be comfortable, right? Optional contract extension from the club sounds great. Also, want a hundred twenty million dollar release clause so that we really control where you're headed. Right? I think we really control where you're headed. Uh, I think appearance fee. You know, I think we up that a little bit. I think that we up your shutout bonus to a cool five thousand every time you get a nice shutout. You get a good check in the mail. All right? Relegation release clause zero dollars. I like how I'm talking to him. Like I'm actually doing this negotiation right now. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, and part of that point is uh, if we, let's see, none of that, but I am looking at bonuses. Like if you get a team of the year appearance, you get 250,000. Every time you appear for your national team, I'll give you 12,000. Uh, and, you know, if we win the Champions League, there is a really hefty bonus in it for you at that amount of money. I think that they're going to, oh, no, you weren't okay with that. Okay, uh, I'm going to up the agent fee. 
Appearance fee went up a little bit. Wow, my general manager was way off. Salary after club league games, no. Minimum fee release clause, I'm going to lock that at 100 because I don't want to get stepping stoned here, so we're just going to lock that. Uh, we will up your wage. I didn't know. I Sorry, I was misled by my general manager. It's my bad, Holmes. It's my bad. Uh, unused substitute fee, we'll take that up as well. And hopefully you feel better with that deal. I'll give you a 900,000 as a signing on. Yeah, you feel good? Cool. So Barney and a five-year deal, 100 million. Perfect. Jordan, uh, Jean Jordan for 9 million to Man City. The money's in the bank and we're making things happen with it. We're getting Ilya Zabarny, we're getting Pedro Gonçalves, and we are going to find a way to get that beautiful man off of Bayern and onto our team, Marcel Zabitzer. A sneeze bonus. No, we don't need any sneeze bonuses. We're already paying out for that. Mark Howe. Alex Tellis, Ricardo Quaresma. Oliver needs some sharp. I mean, these guys need sharpness. I and mean, Quaresma needs the sharpness as well. This is the day before the match, though. So Quaresma, Oliver, uh, yeah, those two guys. No, I mean, I'm probably going to need you in the match. No. Can Gonsalves decide he wants to play for us before the match? That would be fantastic. Really? You don't think Gluk is good? Scout him until full knowledge. I want you to tell me that to my face later. Did you check praise multiple players for training? I don't think it works. Not that we have multiple players to praise, but like, no, you can't do it. Oh, that's probably because I haven't set up any of my training. Wow. I haven't started a new save in like a year, so my bad. Tangy. Hi. Um, my apologies. To all of you, I have set you up to fail. Always going to forget something. You need to focus on your quickness as well. Delaney, you need to focus on not losing your quickness, whatever you have left of it. Okay, just got to make sure this is right. Gonzalo Montiel, you are wingbacking. You need to learn how to wingback a little bit more, bud. Um, just get more athletic. This definitely isn't helping. Uh, defending, beautiful quickness, Marcos Acuna. You need to be working those complete wingback attributes out on the left. Quickness. I like having fast teams, and we're not a fast team right now. So that is something I'm definitely going to emphasize. I'm trying to loan this guy out. Try that again. Hello, Kike Salas. Jesus Corona. Inverted winger, we're working that, and you need to work on your endurance. Alejandro Gomez, I realize you are old, but I need you to dig in for one season and not lose too many of your attributes because, my goodness, dude. Just hang on to whatever athleticism you have left. That's the most important thing. Centerman on attack. Man, we are just so slow. I am not used to having a slow team. It is uh, going to require some adjustments. Good to see Rafa Mears adapting into his new life as part of this club very well. Not new life as part of the club, but just in general, me being here. We got him set up because we signed him. Suso is going to be coming off of this side. Why are you all of a sudden getting worse at everything, Suso? You were the most promising player offensively in that whole game. I don't like that from you. Criticize. Your training's bad. Criticize. Why are you doing? Criticize. What are you doing? Uh, tell us can improve. Well, let's focus on his defensive positioning. He's really bad at it. Just complete forward if we can. And his ball control is definitely the weakness. Demirovic. There you go, and Ivan Rakitic. Yeah, I just worked the, the playmaking stuff. Although he was good off the bench. I struggle to start too many midfielders that can't move at all. Find them! We could. Squad player at Ibiza. Yeah. We're bringing in another center back. We don't need him for depth. If you're done departing, you've suggested you'll hand opportunities to Manu Bueno. It's something we'd like to do. 
Uh, Jean Jordan was sold in the last year of his contract. Um, but some time to spare before it expired. Can you state why this move was made? Every action we take is done with the best interest of the club at heart. His contract was running out. He wanted crazy uh, playing time next year on his new contract. We didn't want to give it to him, so he's gone. So neither guy's going to sign their deal. Please, today. He signs the deal today. Pen to paper right now. No? Okay. And he signs the deal. Actually, no, we'll do that here. Attacking corners. We weren't dangerous on them. It bothered me. Okay. <sighs> no changes to who we have around the team so far, except for the fact that Alex Telles gets to show up instead. Casper Dahlberg, are you cleared? Nope. Fun. Yusuf and Naziri, you're hanging out. Quaresma's there, but we're going with the exact same starting 11, except for Alex Tellis coming into the team. I liked Montiel fullback in attack. It's a shame. I thought we played pretty well, though, in the last game. I'm not going to change that. Though we did have the issue with the attacking corner where the guy was not on the back post anymore, which stunk. Uh, target forward instead, though, and then you on to attack, please. No, it's stupid. But target forward. Uh, we don't want him trying to make the runs in behind. It's not going to work. We want him to just get the ball and play with it. He seems to like the tactics, so that's great. I'm uh, happy about that. Willow, thank you for the 11. Frank with the 34 months. Hello. What team is he doing? I'm playing as Sevilla. Ocampos check. We uh, well, Remind me to check that after this match. Expecting a win today. We'll make it happen. Hopefully a strong, positive start. We have a lot of confidence. We're trying to carry that in everything we do. I know I can rely on him. Alejandro? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I do know I can rely on Alejandro Gomez. Papu. Finally, we're home. I need to make sure that... Uh, we encourage constantly. So we want to keep pace. We're trying to win the league this year. And I know it seems weird right now, but we're adding a couple of star players through the transfer window. We've made a couple of sales. We're trying to win everything we're playing in. We certainly have the experience. Saizo, thanks to the 13. Played six, and in all matches, there has been a pin. Normal? Uh, no, we didn't have a penalty in my first match. I think you're just running into some statistical anomaly there. Delaney! Delaney for Sevilla. Good evening. Unai Simone. Bit of a mare there from Unai Simone. There we go. Into the top four where we belong. Alex Telles with that in-swinger. Oh, that ball was good. Nianzu just went the wrong way. Oh, my goodness. Papu, chill. Oh, great ball to Alex Telles. Alex Telles, it's still Alex Telles! Oh! And it's Sevilla by two! We're winning the league. It's already over. Tecatito with the switch. Alex Telles is the extra man. He just strolls inside, smashes it near post. Simone was leaning the wrong way. It's just that easy. Great finish by Alex Tellis. 
I love it. You're like, why did we loan him in? But all of a sudden, the other left back gets a 6.2. And Alex Telles is on fire. Tecatito. Rakic. Oh, Alex Telles stretching the team again. Alex Telles. It's still Telles. It's Suso. Keepers seem really bad in the match engine. I don't think that's true as much as uh, keepers are able to get their hands on balls to still go in. And so it looks, you know, normally it was either just, it's very clearly in the back of the net or it's very clearly a save. And hopefully there's more variety in that now. And that's basically what we're seeing. Rafa Mir, good hold up play if he can get it to somebody. Yeah, look wide right. Thank you. Nobody over there. They're tactically inept. I don't know what to tell you. Isco, it's... It's there. Isco can make that pass all the time. Suso sizing him up. Ooh, the snap. Alex Telles goes for goal, no. Alex Telles go for the hat trick in this game. He's always open. We're not controlling possession as much as I would like, but I think that's just because we're, <laughs> we're getting our opportunities too fast. Nice. Oh, that was terrible. No, it wasn't. That was awful. Miyansu. I thought it was going to be pretty. It wasn't pretty. Got a lot of space for that pass to go into as well. Oh, Tecatito. Is he on? Rafa Mir. Where's Unai going? We don't know. Oh, they changed it. Oh, those... They changed it. They fixed it. He put his hands in the air and he was off. He very clearly put his hands in the air and he was offside. Who played that ball? That was Tecatito. Yeah, he's offside. See, he puts his hands in the air here. They changed it. Thank goodness. Honestly, shout out to them. They fixed it. We don't know if he's on or offside anymore. They fixed the glitch. Fair enough. He's so off. It's not even remotely close. Rafa, where are you going? <sighs> They're playing with more freedom. Yeah, it seems to be working well for them so far. Are the defensive solidity of this formation? We are really solid. Can't wait until Ilya Zabarnyi gets on that back line. Ander Herrera. Oh, no. I was I spoke too soon. Oh, nice block. Nice block. Racket covering his ground. Now we got carved a little easily, a little too easily there. That was it. I think we need to encourage. We're not exactly a confident team right now. We'll get there. But those nerves away to Mallorca freaked me out about the mentality we have. It was the whole bench, too. It wasn't dependent on, like, their ability to handle pressure or anything. It was everybody. Oh, Gonzalo Montiel. Now, Alex Telles is fantastic right now. He seems to be the X factor on this team. He's making the run again. He's just... Tecatito's literally dropping lower than complete wingback Alex Telles. Gonzalo Montiel. Gonzalo Montiel. Montiel. Rafa Mier. Oh. Give me that. The engine's definitely different. Uh, the loose ball structure and the chaos is definitely great. The loose passes are great. Great run by Rafa Mir. Delaney! Nice save. I was, he's making up for it. That, I thought that ball was in. Pellis got a chance to add to his his mark. I thought the ball was pretty pretty good. Rackick. No, Tecatito! Gonna throw a leg at it. Yeah, Montiel's shown more offensively than he did in the last match. That is for certain. Oh, easy. Easy takeaway. East goes renowned defensive ability. Suso. Yep, bring it back. East go. Papu. Well, the passing was precise. I'm okay with letting that go. We can get our shape together, get our center backs up for the short throw. Whip the ball in there with pace. 
like having a two goal lead here. Oh, was that a highlight about to start? Yes, it is. Let's see what we have in store. Away. Let's check on some subs. Suso maybe not doing it the way he could be. So maybe we go with Adnan Yenizai. Just fresh legs, you know, fresh legs, fresh ideas. And I might drop Nianzu. Also, I want to take a look at our corner setup defensively. We do have Tangi Nianzu and Thomas Delaney working front post, so. Uh, actually, that was the wrong side, so it could be other side. We don't have that. We literally have our two center backs there. Okay, they, they, we're not going to be able to get better people there to handle that situation, unfortunately. That's a goal we were just going to concede. Our first concession of the year. All right, Yanazai. Oh, good, good run. Oh, that was so good, and he should have passed. Oh, Yanazai's run, brilliant. All right, not at home. Oh, yo! We got to make more of this count. We're not exactly a precise team, as much as we statistically dominate whoever we're playing. Nianzu's up to 7.0. I made the right decision. Let's check some other subs. Uh, Isco's getting nervous, so it's Ivan Rakitic time, who's also nervous, because of course he is. And Rafamir's coming out for Yusuf and Naziri, um, who's going to be an advance forward. I, didn't, I haven't really liked the way that's played so far, so let's see how that goes. Yusuf loves some late match theatrics. Rakitic also taking the armband, which is good. Rakic is right in front of you. Thank you. Delaney, he's the guy that... Oh, yep. Rakitic. Tekatito. Dancing. Teles. He's like my striker in this game. What transfers have you made? They haven't really come through yet. We've made some sales. God, I would love a goal here for some breathing room. Nianzu! Yes! Thank you. Thank you, big boy. Tangi Nianzu. What are you talking about? Tall man does tall man thing. <laughs> it's like, what? how many guys? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, there, like eight guys are around him. Eight guys are within a foot and a half. The, the eight guys are within like a one meter bubble around Tangini Anzu right now. Eight. And he rises above. <laughs> big man does big man things. Sevilla three, Bilbao one. Of course, the long ball. Great pressure. Rakitic. Rakitic. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I didn't see that pass coming as the next one, but it almost worked out. Way to run with him, Montiel. Yes. Beautiful. Right in front of you. The pass. I mean, you. Oh. Montiel's on an absolute safari right now, making good defensive plays and bad defensive plays. Now, how did we not take that away, guys? Now, how did we not take that away? Okay. We've got to be able to take that away. That was silly. That was silly. We've got to be able to take that away, guys. I, I don't know how we gave that up. That was bad. I'd like to be able to win with some comfort. Now, we, we should have had the ball three times, and then Nianzu leaves it so Montiel can pick up, but I was foolish. That was a foolish set of plays there. Um, Yeah, we'll just support. Support. Just a little less aggressive with our numbers so that we're responsible. We're able to get back and still threaten their goal. Because, again, we would love some more insurance. Very different type of game than we played last time. We've given up a couple of chances. Tell us, goodness gracious, man.
Now that's that's a different Nico Williams than the one you're thinking of. That is a different Nico Williams than the one you're thinking of. You know what we need to do is put these guys on central defenders so that they don't make a stupid pass like that. Do you understand me? Delaney, you go flying around as well, and we'll go balance for the last four. We'll turn this up all the way since we're going into stoppage time and get that change in now. Thank you. Alex Telles, not renowned for his ability to do that, but we'll take it. Okay, Tecatito. I don't know where you're getting this burst of energy, but I'll take it. Look at this. Tecatito. Oh, this is just bread and butter. Rakitic. Oh, I thought he was going to follow it. Like, volley it. Yeah, Nico Williams is uh, Inyaki Williams' younger brother. He plays for Bill Bow, and he was born in the appropriate area to play for Bill Bow. Oh, the pass was not great, actually, from Rakitic there. Ellis, you're not supposed to be up here. I know you love it, but player traits dragging him up the field. Keeper, you got the keeper. Don't freak out. You got like a whole part of the field you can hit the ball to, and you'll be fine. This is good. This is good right here. Good old-fashioned knock it around the yard going on. Rekic, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, seductive. Oh, Adnan. The substitute legs. Into Ziri. Swaggerific. Delusion, thanks for the 13. Jake Leonard, thanks for the three. Oh, you're good. I mean, they do have almost the same name, so uh, nice work, everybody. I'm not going to overhype it. We gave up a couple of goals, but, you know, I do think we deserve to win the game. And if we go out and play well enough to deserve to win the game, that's all I asked for. All I asked for. Oh, it's like, is that a lot of money? No, it's 250000 as part of his clause there. So let's check those loans. That I actually didn't need reminding about, unbelievably. Lucas Ocampos, who we really like as a uh, a player, as a forward, is an aggressive attacking type of guy. Oh, he just can't be recalled. Oh, okay. That's cute. Love that for him. Uh, apparently, none of these guys are going to be able to be recalled. It is not, not because of the 28-day thing, but they just can't be. So, more you know. Hmm. Manu Bueno wants a new contract in the future. It's just because I talked about him in one press conference. And now all of a sudden. All of a sudden. he's. How did Acuna drop a 6.2? The guy's actually good. Rafamir changed to squad player. I don't want to do that to him yet. Would he take it? No. So why, why would I do that? Maybe we could negotiate it, but I'm not going to roll the dice on something I'm not even sure would be a good idea for me to do. Thanks, though. Recruiting focus going well in progress on 14 strikers. So, Datro Fafana from Mold. Can we finish that one? I love Ilya Zabarni. Holy smokes. Zlatan! No, but Datro Fafana, that guy. That, that Datro Fafana guy looks fun. Umar Diakite from Salzburg. Seriously, though, this guy, if, if he ends up on the higher part of this range, he's an athlete that can shoot and just needs to work in his touch, and he's young, and he's definitely cheap. So I'm going to throw him on the definitely list. So I don't want to lose track of him. Hmm, interesting. I got Fafana in my FM23 save. I'm loving it. Can you check Manor Solomon from Fulham? He is very good, but no, unfortunately. What a fall off. He was good when I watched La Liga. Rafamir is good in real life. This isn't real life, though. Rick Helme. Peter Burrows left back Harrison Burrows. That dude can swing a cross. Are we just looking at left backs? Uh, near matches for Spanish first division players that would help us. Radamel Falcao would have been an excellent piece of information, but he's headed to Chicago. Dang. 
Franco Servi. No, not really. They do have a, their recommendation in the midfield, and of course the other guys in the midfield. Bayern just lowered the price. They're lowering the price. Come on, lads, it's ours. So the transfers we have agreed pay seven and six up front. That is 15, which leaves us with about seven million safely we'll say five million that we can offer up front in this final deal if we want to add another fabulous midfielder in marcel sabitzer who will automatically make our team much better now there is floating interest from real madrid which is unfortunate uh because they can definitely do better than us but four and a half and then i'll do installments 12 monthly installments three 12 monthly installments that spread another 10 million dollars over for the the yeah okay Yeah, the wage is definitely annoyingly high. We'll do what we can to drive it down. Um, obviously, the board's not happy with it. Four years, is uh, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. 64 million is fine. I'd actually, I'd probably go below that. I'd say like 50 million is, is totally okay. I'm gonna remove that. And I'm gonna create some really big performance incentives for you. Really big performance incentives. This is if we win the Spanish Cup, boom. International cap bonus every time you play for Austria, which is basically every time it's their goal bonus, boom. If you get yourself in the box and you're able to bag goals and grab assists, you get 30,000 each time. Uh, you're also gonna get a $0 relegation release clause. Obviously not likely, but it is there. And if you reach 15 assists and goals, I will give you $1 million. This is in order to reduce the frontline wage that we're going to have to pay to Marcel Sabitzer for, uh, you know, the, what are they? What, what, what do you whippersnappers call it? A salary cap that you guys invented and totally not us. That's what sounds right to me. A Champions League bonus of $1 million and a Spanish first division bonus of $1 million will also be included in the contract. Um, and I, just so that you can serve this as palatable, we will go with a max agent fee. All right, that is not the way we wanted this to go. I'm gonna lock the sell-on fee at 5% and go down to seven. Oh, you're literally like, no, he has to be paid this amount of money or else absolutely not. I'll go another year. Oh, okay, no, so this is hard set and gonna ruin my day right now. Like it will not move no matter how much money we throw into this because the value of this pay, like the value of this is higher than what you're talking about. I'll give you $50,000 as an appearance fee. Every time you appear in a game, I will give you $50,000. That pushes the value of this well over what we would have thought. Don't block me from getting Marcel Sabitzer on this freaking team. Salary after reaching five club league games, 883. hit that with no expectation of them accepting it like zero goodness me as long as he doesn't play five games before we get 
through this, I think we'll be fine too. The wage budget's going to be hilariously close. It's going to be, it, it will literally be down to like a hundred or 200,000 as to whether we fit under the wage budget or not. It's going to be an abs. it's going to be ridiculously close. Like just so f hilariously close. But we actually might need to sell somebody anyways, so. Who might that be? Who might we be selling today? Uh... Who is somebody really interested in Papu? A 34 year old? I mean, I love Papu. He's been great to start this season. He's been a difference maker, but you know who hasn't popped up in this team much is Oliver. 27 year old. Nobody really wants him. We already looked at that. We'll feel it out once we get the guys in the roster. We'll figure out who we need to dump. Might be Koreshma. After all that, bringing in the 38-year-old for really fun late-game bench appearances. PKSL has set for his loan move. Have fun, boss. All right, we got Pedro Gonzalez. He's in. Seven up front. Somehow we're, we're just wedging all of this into... A very limited transfer budget. He's the key one. This dude is the key signing. He's so good. He is so good. I just need you to work on being a forward as well. Uh, yeah, and contribute whatever you have left into trying to get that pace up a little higher. Boy, he's good. He can pass. He can really score the ball. He attacks through the middle of the field. He tries killer balls. I mean, we're making plays. That was our record transfer fee. Oh my goodness. The record transfer fee at Sevilla was 24 and a half million. Welcome to the modern era. Contracts expiring at the end of this season. Koreshma, yeah, I'm okay with that. Player status attracting interest. Montiel, Suso's attracting interest. How much do they want to pay? He'd prefer to stay at Sevilla, but we can explore offers. Well, I'm going to explore the offers. We're going to offer you out for 15 million again, because we'd love to get that money into the budget. And Papu, I got to be honest, I don't want to offer you out. And he, he wouldn't react well to it, so I'm not going to. Uh, Oda Mendy is the last guy. I don't think we could fit him in unless we, we ask his agent what he wants. That wage demand's ridiculous. Nicholas is not interested only with a decent financial package. Would he go and join Sevilla? Oh, that stinks. <sighs> the stall. We know, we know, we know. I mean, Sabitzer we're already going after. The striker situation with Datro Fafana wouldn't be for this year. Show recommended players. Baptiste Santa Maria. Garte is way too expensive. I don't know how much money you think we have. We just broke the transfer record with 38 million. Baptiste Santa Maria. It's good. Too expensive, but good. 21 year old Christian Pastina. Now that. That is something that we can kind of get behind here. Extensive knowledge already uh, already acquired. We'll go definitely. All right, still going through this. Sorry. Uh, in meeting. Thank you. Wow, that's a terrible offer. 6.25 million. I'm delighted to welcome Pedro Gonçalves to the club. How important will he be to helping us reach, uh, he can lead this club to glory. Delighted to have him here. Everyone's happy to look forward to working with a top quality pay, uh, player. Where do you see him playing? Uh, attacking midfield, no, we don't use that. So midfield center, but like that's, um, I like the flexible, so there's definitely potential for a lot of shuffling around. Uh, is transfer impacted your budget? Not talking finances.
Be confident you can sell this to be able to justify the price tag. I'm certain it'll be worth every penny, 100%. No comments. There's no right answer to that question. Pedro Gonzalez will go down in Sevilla history. The likes of Andres Palop. The sky's the limit for him. He's that good. He is that freaking good. We got our Champions League group stage draw tomorrow, which means we, we should check our Champions League registration as well. I have no idea what the homegrown situation is, but in a club like this, it should be pretty good. So let's just let's register our hypothetical team then. Lamella is still out for 12 days, three weeks. I wonder if he'd get mad if we didn't. Uh... Can I cancel the Dahlberg loan? That actually would free up the spot. I can. How much of his wage are we paying? The whole thing. Yeah, that actually frees up the roster if I just cancel the Casper Dahlberg loan. I'm terminating. Sorry, Casper. I do like you, but it was not the time. That, that actually solves every problem we had. We'll say solves our Champions League issue because I think we're going to have 22 spots open for Champions League, which means... We're going to have to... Quaresma is definitely not going to be in it. We have two spots remaining as it is. We could go no backup goalkeeper, just stag it. Or we're going to have to reduce somebody. Because everybody's playing time demands are like all the same. It's kind of wild. Very weird how they built this team to be like that. Uh, where everybody thinks they're a regular starter. It doesn't normally work well when you do that. We'll see how everybody feels about their playing time after this, but we're only one player away, so I'm not... I don't feel terrible about it. Only one player away. Hi. Oh, right. Champions League group stage. Fun! What pot are we in? Three? We feel like a... Th we, we feel like three. Yeah, Carmona. I get it. Nobody wants him, but... They kind of do. Yeah, restart. The restart button not work. It's supposed to be ongoing. What do we... Yeah, I just restarted. Okay, cool. Okay, I didn't expect that to hit me that hard. Let's saddle up and get ourselves a good draw. Let's start the draw. We're set to get underway. Zinedine Zidane is hosting. Okay, what pot are we in? Oh, we're in two? Oh, let's go, chat. We're in pot two. Oh, I have to advance. Group A will play Ostamati Ogotza in Eintracht Frankfurt. Real Madrid are perhaps the obvious team to watch out for in pot one. The last winners of the Champions League were Real Madrid. Difficult for any side to retain their hold on the cup. Can they buck that convention? Interesting choice of phrase there, Zinedine. Okay. Pot one can call upon the likes of City, Bayern, PSG, and Porto as this draw gets interesting. Man City is there. Kevin De Bruyne and Man City. Let's have a look at D, uh, Group D teams. In pot one, that'll be Yashua Kimmich and FC Bayern. This is so cool. This is cool. That'll obviously get muted when we upload it on YouTube. But by the way, they played the Champions League anthem. Very neat. Uh, will you play host to... Group D will play host to them. That's right. PSG are the obvious team to watch out for now. But it's Porto in Group E. Sergio Conceição, the manager of Porto, will be keen for good showing. As we move forward, there's just PSG Milan and Ajax left. Ajax is there. Alfred Schroeder is, of course, a very capable and talented manager. Do I get that treatment? Leao is showcasing his talents in Group G for Milan. And in Group H, we have PSG, the last team remaining to be drawn in this section. And there they go. One thing to note before we draw the pot, two teams' competition rules stipulate we can't have RB Leipzig and Eintracht Frankfurt in this same section of the draw. I'm going to be honest, chat. We would love Eintracht Frankfurt. Sevilla! Oh. Antonio Conte and Tottenham are out of the hat. Fair. Okay. Please note Real Madrid can't be along drawn alongside Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and Sevilla. So this is not going to be us. It is, however, Leipzig. Under the capable stewardship of Marco Rose. 
who will prevail. Max Noob, thank you for the 31 months. Incorruptible Judge, thanks for the tier one. Jake, thanks for the prime. Derek, lad, I appreciate the 28 months. Thank you guys for being a part of the hammers. Real Madrid are preparing to face Leipzig under the capable stewardship of Marco Rose. Yes, we know this. Uh, pot two, right? Liverpool and Chelsea must be separated from Man City. This is obviously Barcelona. Under the capable stewardship of Zeeland Vanderhorst, but who will prevail? Yeah, okay, I'm not. The, the sheen is gone for me. I'll be completely honest with you. The sheen's gone. Yes, for the second straight freaking Champions League, I'm playing freaking Manchester freaking City and their freaking oil money, and it's freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Who do I want from this group? I should get a pick of the team I get out of this group. I want Salzburg or Sporting, please. Yep, get rid of Napoli. Nice, throw them in. Parthenope, see you later. Group B, uh, toss like Dortmund in there. You know, Oh, Dortmund can't go in there. Oh, I like that they have the red squares here for the teams that can't go in there. Let's throw Benfica or Inter in here. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Man City in Sevilla. All right, this is Sporting or Salzburg. We discussed this. Shakhtar is fine too, but Sporting or Salzburg will do. Okay. Thanks for listening so much. What a freaking ridiculous group that is. Are you serious? You see this? You see this? Freaking every other group except for maybe group D. But of course that... <laughs> this freaking team out of both pots next to us. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to have so much fun. Oh, well, you better give us the easiest pot four team of all time. Okay, who's in here? Kobenhaven? Yeah, Trabzons. I mean, Ferenc Varos is obviously the worst team here, though. I want Ferenc Varos, so this is Marseille. Didn't have to do me like that. You could have at least waited. <sighs> could have at least waited once. All right, <laughs> Monaco. Okay, why did it work that time? Now, Pobanovan. Thank you. I didn't get, like, one of the Power League teams. Celtic, okay. Okay. I can handle that. That makes sense to me, right? That totally makes sense. All right. Freaking Group A. Freaking Group E over here. Freaking Group F. Unbelievable. I'd be the favorite in all three of those groups if I'd come out of pot two. Oh. Dang, dude. Dortmund and City? Group of death. Yeah, they handed a tough group, you think? When did you put that together? Like, when did you notice that it was a tough group, necessarily? Did you... Like, because your, your, your skills, your deduction skills, amazing. Actually, I mean, really amazing. I'm so impressed. Why are we why are we doing that? Do a do a double overall and then like uh defending engage since we got an opportunity to train for a little bit and then you know maybe a little uh no, I don't want to do shadow play. Shadow play doesn't really do much for us, but we'll do a defending disengaged and a possession training and get ourselves ready with a couple of match preps. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. We can get out of it. I know we can, but it is not going to be easy. What do you think of your draw? My excitement went up. Where do you think we'll finish? I'm confident of a strong showing. The draw has been tough. City, Dortmund, and Celtic. Rather concentrate and preparing to the competition. You know, we just got to, we just got to be ready. What do you make of Real Madrid drawing Leipzig, Mon Monaco, and Benfica? Uh, I think their draw is tougher than it looks. We'll have our work cut out for us against Manchester City and Erling Holland, of course, but... Yep, there's Ilya Zabarnyi. 
We're two for two so far. Ilya Zabarny, the Wonder Kid center back. And everybody should be signing, to be perfectly honest, because he is a stud. We're going to try and make him a real, real athlete, because we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that on this team. So Pedro Gonzalez, Ilya Zabarny, he fits in there. And oh, baby, it's going to work. It is going to work. It's going to work. We got rid of Casper Dahlberg. It is going to work perfectly. Oh, it's going to fit like a glove. Gattuso has been blasé about the importance of the match. Um, you know, comment doesn't really matter, does it? What are the thoughts about the rivalries? I'm keen to be involved in these. Uh, most can pick the majority of the team. Do you think, uh, do you look forward to these matches in the same way the supporters do? <sighs> the matches you love to be involved in. Hmm? Played well. We just got to take things one match at a time. Away to Valencia is a difficult match. You know, they've been getting harder. It's been ramping up for us, but our training's improved a lot, and that's something that makes me happy. We were not training well at the beginning here, and I'm not expecting crazy development because we don't have one of those, like, crack youth teams anymore, but at least just not training poorly would be nice, and that's what we're doing. That freaking draw, chat. Oh, that draw. Dortmund aren't that good? Yeah, well, they're not bad. Oh, what's this? Expectations for the upcoming match? Oh, the, the board expect to draw the next match. Being spoiled with exciting football. Up to see signing Pedro Gonçalves make his debut. Yes. Supporters are hopeful as ever of beating uh, Valencia. Hopes the team continues the su successful formation. Thinks Eric Lamella should start the match. <laughs> uh, what? That Eric Lamella? The one that is 10 days to three weeks back from a hip injury? Both people are, both of them are hoping to see Pedro Gonzalez make his debut. I'm not going to throw Ilya Zabarni into this, but I am going to have him on the bench so that he starts to be a part of the match day process. Did we just accidentally play somebody in this reserve match? I think we did. Who is that? Oh, the youth team guy. I don't really care. Both those guys can definitely play. That's fine. Okay. Here we go. So the the interesting decision to make here is what do we do with Papu? Now that so did I not? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, didn't actually uh, stick the registration. I, I didn't confirm the registration. Thank you. All right, and now I would like to get rid of the unavailables. Thank you, Ilya Zabarnyi into the team. Appreciate it. Gonsalves is going to make his debut. He's going to make his debut off the bench. Eric Lamella is going to be on the bench. I totally don't think he's cleared. Yeah, he's not cleared. So he's not there. And then we do have one spot on the bench. So we need to fill with a maybe a B teamer or a U19 team guy. Um, but Alvaro Diaz, probably no chance of him actually getting on the field, but great for development for him to just be able to show up and show out, show his friends on Instagram that he really pulled it off. Okay. Yeah, and good solves is going to be available. He's just apparently working his way back from something and he's not fully fit. So Barney is going to be available, but it is largely the same team in the tactic that has been working. So everybody's appeased. I don't want to step up more in this match. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to step up more in this match. But Nianzu is... Oh, he's the target on both. Okay. Squad numbers for two players. Right. Who gets the numbers? Alvaro... Uh, Ilya Zabarny gets five. Okay. Pedro Gonçalves is going to get a really ugly number. Adri Gonzalez, yes. Alvaro gets 29. Why can he get 29, but... I, I don't know what Alvaro Diaz is doing, but Pedro Gonzalez gets 25, Zabarni gets 5, life is good. Demon, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes, enjoy this dub. Hopefully, have fun and enjoy the match tonight. Hit a few more I have faith in you, so they don't really love me yet, that's fine. 
We're going to take the pressure off, let our boys play with the freedom, and hopefully control this match. Let's do this. Let us do this. Position instructions again. I had, him, I had him click on, but oh my goodness, I've played against Samuelino so many times. He was in Austria. We're better than these boys, though. Oh, Edinson Cavani up there. That's okay. You can keep the ball in your half of the field. There's just a wall there that you're not able to get past. We don't have the numbers forward in the field to force them off the ball when they have it in their half. So if they want to do that, they can. They'll just do it the whole freaking game. Rafa Mir. Not exactly majestic. That'll... Ooh, Suso. Good solo, Montiel. Dang. I mean, you can put real faces on. I don't like messing with the beta. I just leave the beta as is. I don't want to break it. I know it probably won't, but also we're looking for bugs. And you, if you start adding stuff to the game, then you don't know if it's a bug or if it was caused because of that. Oh, Isco. Yeah, apparently the crowd... You have to turn it down. Apparently the crowd at Valencia is a little louder than ours. Come on, Lino. Oh, boys, good block, but that was scary. They had a nice run. They got their numbers where they needed to be. I don't think Isco was hustling too much. Rafa Mir, good hold up play. Papu, oh, I thought he was going to find a way to slip that ball in. Telles, literally unstoppable. So, Alex Telles. He is at his level right now, and he is in a system that favors him perfectly. That, that can't go in. That can't go in from a goalkeeping perspective there. That was an outstanding hit by Clover. That's okay. I don't, I don't hate that. Oh, that hurt, dude. That was a golazo. It was pure golazo. Smashing finish. And that's flipped the momentum on us here. I need to pick a boys up. Pick a boys up. Is he on? This doesn't matter now. Good work, Isco. Very good work. Oh, no. You've got to be able to make that. All you're, all you're there to do is pass. You have to be able to make that pass. He's outside. Yeah. There he goes. Tough spot to defend a free kick, though. He gets this hard at the goal. It is very difficult, but they got an outswinger. Back posts are going right here. No way for us to stop that. Guy is too good, though. He's always going to find that. Okay. Nice. Oh, Papu. That was good. Suso. Suso. We just can't shoot to save our lives is what it feels like. It's been all three games we haven't shot the ball particularly well. Like percentage on target and those things. All right, chill, chill, good. Take the touches to turn around. Wow. Did you just see that save? 
saved our butt and Isco, who's apparently decided to play an awful game today. Bono, you're redeemed. What are we doing? Horrific playing out from our own end there. Isco, I'm going to take you out for Rakitic at halftime. Because you don't bring anything to this team. A lot of set-piece highlights against us. You didn't bring anything to this team if you're not press-resistant or if you score this. Ooh. Yes. A little bit of yes right here. 1-1. One, one. Set-piece to set-piece action. Back to the corner. Well, now it's not open. Oh, we got it there. Oh, Suso. Okay. Okay. Somebody was off. He's going for a lot of, he forgot he wasn't a Valencia player. Fair. All right. I didn't think that was a goal highlight. It started too late. So maybe a little set piece highlight instead. Back, back the corner. Yes. Tell us. I, we're getting a lot of set pieces. I'm going to try something here. They are tight marking. Tangi and Nyansu. And so if we move into the back post, that type mark should go with him. And then we should be more alone. No, why didn't it? How do they just have an extra guy marking the near post no matter who's there? That's definitely something they added to the game to try and stop near post corners. Because you, you can only put Mark Tall player. I can't tell my team to do that, but the AI can. That's annoying. You can only put Mark Tall, like, Mark the tallest player. My tallest player is Tanky Nyansu. Madball, thank you for the prime. Klaus, thanks for the eight months. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, satisfactory at best. We've got to improve. Papu. Come on, Papu. I yell at Isco as well. Isco is on a 6.3. My eyes do not deceive me. Statistically having a terrible match as well. Bailed out by Bono. It's not like we were offering a huge cutting edge either. The, the idea for us is to be able to control the game and then find the goals. It's very similar to what we did at Lille last year. Control the game, find the goals. And the idea behind what we did at Wolves is control the game. Don't give, you know, don't give too much. A little compact, a little overly compact there. And good space, good defense. They're not getting through that with any good chance, so. Well handled. Oh, yes, Suso, and then we give it right back. Good work. Until the unnecessary shove, Alex Telles did a really good job. So, he's just trying to play his way back. Tecatito, I haven't even noticed. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop Isco. We're going to advance playmaker U and bring in Pedro Gonçalves into the midfield. Got it? Cool. That's our substitution. We need our star signing on the field now. He's the guy that can make a difference against Valencia away. Second, no penalty. Come on now. Rafa! Kalista's barely as tall as you are. Zealand, the person that stole my name. I really appreciate you giving me $5 as a way to keep your account active so that it can't expire and I can get it. That's really kind of you. Where's the... Uh... Corona? There you go. I 
really want to go with Kurajma already? Yeah. We go with basically a playmaker on either side. Tell us kind of going crazy up this side of the field. We can't go too far back, though. Suso with his anxiety has not been fun either. Wait, he's active? Yeah, tried to sell me the account before. I'm done with that, though. I talked to my partner manager, and as long as the account is active, it won't be deactivated. The person that owns the account, Zealand, uh, created like 30, 40 accounts or something when Twitch started in hopes that they would be able to sell them. So my success is basically them striking gold, but they don't... Uh, yeah. They, the only way they actually... Like, the only way that that investment of their time actually ends up making any money uh, is if I decide to pay them a lot of money for the name Zealand, which I don't care enough. Yeah. So, that that subscription or just using the account in general is a way to keep the account active so that the username doesn't get recycled. That's the whole idea uh, behind it. And I had a friendly conversation with them at one point until I realized the way that the whole thing worked and it just bothered me. And I'm like, you know, good for you if you made money selling other accounts, but I don't care enough. It's not my thing. There seem to be plenty of people here that are okay with the fact that the L in my name is an I, so. Come on, he can't step forward there. I thought that ball was going in. That was scary. We need to make those two changes drop off once they break through, yeah. If only you knew how it worked. Okay. No, I mean just be just because you're you're doing your thing and you're successful, right? That doesn't mean I have to like it. Right? I just don't think I, I don't think it's cool, so I don't I don't care. Yeah. Talking to me like I haven't talked to people at Twitch about it, like my partner manager and those sorts of things, you know? Like I and I I, I wish you well. I like, it's cool. I wish I'd thought of that, right? But I'm also like, it's just a thing. It's a thing people do, you know? We need, we need something else. I'm gonna, I will shadow striker him. I'm gonna target, I'm gonna target man shadow striker. And then move Delaney up and... I don't want to step up more though, dude. I don't. No, they're trying to make a lot more than 20 bucks. And honestly, that guy's probably made a lot more than 20 bucks, right? But... Not my vibe. Do I want to... There's... Prevent short goalkeeper distribution, which we can do now. So we'll drop off once the line gets broken, but we'll stay really aggressive and we need to scale up our attacking amount now. Seelan just gifted five subs. I don't know what your goal is exactly. I do appreciate it. You did just make five people's days, which is nice of you, but like, I don't know if you're trying to schmooze me into buying the username, which seems like a weird approach, right? Because the username is largely useless, unless I pay for it. <laughs> Give the 200 to impress. I don't know, I get it. Like, because I'm the type of person, I don't like anybody not liking me, and you might be the same type of person, so you're like, I'm gonna gift five subs so that this person doesn't like me anymore. And I appreciate you making five, like, making five people's days, and I hope you enjoy your bacon. You get in the subsection of the Discord, right? Enjoy the ad-free experience and all that. But I just, I don't know. I know one thing about you in the entire world, right? And I don't like that one thing. So I wouldn't take it too personally, but that's just the way it is. Nice, Delaney. Should I download the face pack now? You can, yeah. I, I don't because when I play, like, we want to be able to find bugs and stuff, and I, it doesn't bother me for a couple weeks, but for some people, it completely breaks their immersion. Ah! 
what if Zeeland's Esteban? That would be interesting. Responsible for the, the spam calls as well. I have one enemy in my life. And it's me. It was me the whole time. Octane, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. You know, make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Yeah. This is my alter ego operating the account. All right, we need to we need to go nuts forward here. This is a shame. We haven't played as well in the second half either. The goals, uh, the goals elude us, chat. The goals elude us. Or make our last change, which is tell us going further up the field and throwing a couple more guys in attack. We are in for the late drama, and that's the one we can't give up. Oh, come on, really? Oh, Mac, thank you so much for the prime. All right, Bono. This is a, that, that was a scramble play, ref. That was a scramble play. Strong hands, Bono. He wasn't even close to that, was he? Yeah, play it off, Rafa. No, we didn't deserve to win today. We didn't do well in the road match. I mean, we don't have our full team together, but you no, know, we didn't handle the road match well. Um, our poorest defensive game, I think, by a lot. Uh, we, we've given up five times as many highlights as we gave up in the first two games combined, so. 4-2-3-1 gave us problems. We got stuck high, and uh, they were slipping through balls to the wings, driving us back to the end line. Okay, Rafa, let him kick the ball. That's a great goalkeeper kicking animation. take a detrimental shot to uh, our um, morale here. So I'm going to lower our mentality. I, had to fa I don't even know what that was. I mean, Cavani's so old, he probably needs a wheelchair to get there. But first of all, Rekic got straight. He just lost that header to a winger. And then that is just embarrassing. That was, Everything about that was wildly bad. And those two late goals are not going to be kind to our team's mental makeup. Ah, oh, Pedro Gonçalves. Good spot. Very good spot. Oh, dude. And again. Nice step. Okay, now we're in a good position. Quaresma able to find a pass. Pedro Gonçalves. Beautiful. Well, I think we made a good signing, chat, because that goal was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I know it's a little late, but uh, I think we made a good signing. That's a very good debut. Pedro Gonzalez. Well done. Now wait until we get Ilya Zabarni back there defending with Tangi Nianzu. I don't think Rekic is the answer. Oh, man, we just... But yeah, yeah, tactically overwhelmed there. It's four and four. We still have our aggressive rolls on, trying to come back. Koreshma, you gonna find a pass here? Are we gonna make this spicy for like 15 seconds? We are not. Yeah, not a good result. Bad defense for sure. Bad defense. the highest line of pressing you can have in a 4-2-3-1 and we're just not going after him that much also where's the whistle we are at full minute past time I just totally expected it to be blown a while ago Koreshma nice touch dude you gonna do this Elon skin this year absolutely yeah you guys know what it is we're gonna look to make it better and we're uh we're gonna get it ready and, and drop it soon, but obviously it's not ready yet. <sighs> oh, 
not a case of going back to the drawing board. I think we just, you know, reacted slowly and, you know, they deserve to win by a goal and they won by two. So the scoreboard tilts a little bit. I, I don't think our, our defense was, it got exposed today. And that is unfortunate. Wait, he's taking a comeback. He was at oh, he was at Valencia. Well, this is awkward. That was a beautiful goal, though. I think we're I think the signings we're making, and then obviously you add more solidity into the midfield with what we're trying to do. Will it be the first defeat of Sevilla head coach? Um, disappointed. These things happen. We'll try our best to get back. Yeah, happy with the debut. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Very happy for him that he scored. What do you think about Cavani? He was very good. Yes. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and admit there was a uh, little anyone could do. I wouldn't go that far, but he did certainly have a great 90 seconds. Scored freaking two goals, although one was a penalty. Debatably. D indubitably. Debatably. Indubitably. Well, we won our first two matches, but we just suffered our, you know, road to Valen road. The road against Valencia is not a bad loss. Obviously, I don't want to lose any game, but on the road against Valencia is not a bad loss. Um, take a look at the match momentum. Yeah, we just... Early second half was awful. We started like we were playing any of those other matches, and obviously the penalty chalks up on the XG as well. Sabitzer close to signing. Beautiful. Slipped it in. Marcel Sabitzer. Coming over from Bayern Munich. This is a great transfer window, considering we had $6 million. We had a $6 million transfer budget, and we have made three signings that go into the first team and dramatically improve the team. So that is a big win for me. Uh, let me know halfback there. Really work on his defensive stuff. Although he can't, he can literally play anywhere, which is so valuable for me. Let's maintain that quickness, brother. Right now, let's work on some mental stuff. Let's work on final third, maybe. Composure decisions. Yeah, that's what we need. Team registration. Oh, it's almost like I've played this game for like 10,000 hours. And after he plays five matches, we will be over the salary cap and we will figure that out in January, chat. But this is how we have baited this team together, and this is what we are doing. Why are you playing dollars? Because I'm American. That's just the way that I, I played. When's the New Zealand skin usually drop? Last year was the first year that we ever made a skin, so we don't know how long it's going to take to re-up it the way that we like. But I promise you there will be a Zealand skin, and you will have it for the vast majority of the time you're playing FM23. Yeah. I, I got to get in touch about it. Freedom dollars are bust. Freedom dollars! Hell yeah, brother! Marcel Sabitzer's registered. All right, it's been a good first day, chat. Annually is also a residual effect of me being American because the US version of the game goes into like paid annually. I loved the first day. I absolutely adored it. So let's find somebody to raid, shall we? If you've never stuck around for the raid, I highly recommend it. We have the opportunity to make somebody's day. And let's find somebody who's just started their streaming journey, you know? It's a new football manager. There's a ton of people streaming it. We're going to go drop in and look to make somebody's day. So this person's title is Return of the King. In parentheses, me. I love the confidence. Let's get... So the way we want to do this is let's get our copy pasta together. Uh, which is like what we're, we're going to copy and spam in the chat, okay? And we're going to all parachute into this person's stream. And we're going to land and we're going to spam the whatever the copy pasta is. Oh, okay, Eric. Eric, the Eric Mendez chant. That's a great copy pasta. That's, the, that's a great. So you copy that and then you paste it. We get in the chat and who knows? Maybe you'll find a streamer that you really enjoy watching. But, you know, drop in, spam, and then we chill. And then we're like, hey, what's up? We're coming from the raid. How's your save? How'd you get into streaming? All that fun stuff. It'd be great. I'm going to save this right now. It is called Good Evening. That is the name of our save. For obvious reasons. 
So you guys ready? You got your copy pasta? We're ready for the raid? Okay, let's have fun. Um, and if you enjoy being around, make sure you drop a follow to, uh, to Kovi, you know? We dropped two videos today. If you did not watch them, uh, how dare you? <laughs> I have one question. How dare you? Uh, one video is part of our World Cup preview uh, with Senegal this morning. And of course, the other video is me training with Floyd Storfer. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Have a great weekend. Oh, it's always so fun to see people's reactions. Um, thank you guys for making so many people's days. I always get so many nice comments after we raid. Uh, see you soon.